the button, I will say. Fuck, we should have looked into the connectivity stuff. <laughs> yeah, uh, I, I do think we'd be able to um, start from like checkpoints. Okay. Yeah, there's a way to select, or select like chapter one, one or one, two or one, three, etc. So it won't be a terrible loss if it happens again. But aren't the oh, I thought like one, 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 two, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I thought those were just the menus. No, 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 no. They're, they're not the ones where like the game stops and no. dumps you into the menu. No, oh, that's okay. the full chapter. And okay. Yeah, I thought it was the other way too, but I did some testing with the FOV stuff and found that you can select the sub chapters. Yeah, that'll be better then. Yeah. I was also going to ask you, um, you sent me that Steam thing. Did you get my message? Yeah, you I saw You sent me the game. Yeah? I'm surprised that, uh, go ahead. No, no, go, go ahead. Mine's stupid. <laughs> well, it's, I can't remember the last time we had a, like, decent co-op game, let alone an, uh, action RPG co-op. Yeah. I'm, um, so, so this, this led, by the way, hey, Cop Kitten, hey, Rick, this led, by the way, to... Um, I, I did my Tabletop Tuesday last night and I was working on asset stuff. And then after, I would, it reminded me, because uh, I showed people this trailer, which by the way, I'm now in my video section because I wanted to see if I got muted or anything like that. And I didn't because uh, Ozzy Osbourne is in that trailer if you watched it. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so I was like, uh... And I also now see on the right-hand side in the Twitch dashboard, it literally counts. It says copyrights and your channel. You have zero copyright strikes on your channel. So it's like a fucking counter. <laughs> Where is that? Um, I'm sorry. If you it... go into your, 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 like your dashboard, right? Okay. And then you hit content, like your little content thing on the left, the little drop down hmm. under video producer, where you see all your videos. Because okay. that's normally where you would see too. Like if if something gets muted, it'll it'll throw a little like triangle or whatever, right? A little red triangle. It'll be like, ah, something happened with this video. But uh, now on the right, yeah, there's there's that. Um. No, so I I from that I I I watched the trailer shot it your way and everything and i was like oh that reminds me on good old games i have a, a an old retro D, D bundle that i bought for like five bucks or something and it's like temple of elemental evil baldur's gate one and two icewind dale one and two etc etc and we spent an hour and a half last night on stream trying to get baldur's gate one to like work any sort of properly like there was a, there was, you know, like one of the like community mods or patches or whatever. <clears throat> and I thought, okay, I'll slap this into my install folder and you know, like that'll be good. It might, there might be a couple of check boxes that I'll have to check to make decisions about the mod and that'll be that. No, it was a command line prompt and it went line by line and it asked, I'm not even kidding. It asked like 63 questions. And they were, and some of them were things where I needed chat to tell me like, this is what this means, Shay. Cause it would, it would just, it was just shit in the game. Like it assumes you've played the game already, right? They're like, ah, should Talwar have a Nodachi in, in act two in the shop of the app? Like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> yeah, that's a so, lot. Yeah, we went through all of it, all of it. And then I launched the game ready to play, and it was like 640 by 480. So then we had to go find another mod for widescreen stuff. <laughs> and then when we finally did that, the game itself, self, still, it's like a 98 era, right? So like, we'd move over the, the camera and it would just like, you'd see like a refresh basically, right? Like the screen would go like, pop, 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 like it would blink in and out. Yeah. Yeah, it was like an hour and a half. It was a mess. 
I felt bad afterwards. I'm like, I'm so sorry, everyone, for wasting your time. I hope you enjoyed my watch J press Y on the keyboard stream. Yeah, I went through a similar um, excursion trying to get oh, Star Siege Tribes to work on Windows 10. Still okay. haven't gotten it to work. Oh. Also, Scully and Perugi, thank you for 18 months and six months, respectively. Nice. Yeah, my solution was uh, the gamer Darius, in all of their kindness, uh, tipped me and was like, cliche, please buy the enhanced edition. And I'm like, okay, I'll make sure that that's good for next week. <laughs> So, did you know about the enhanced edition beforehand? I did, but my whole thing was I I had bought that like when I bought when good old games first came out, I guess, or like whenever that was a thing, when they offered that bundle for like 5 bucks, I scooped it, right? And I had forgotten about it. Like I hadn't logged into good old games forever. So that's been all just been sitting there on my account like I owned it, right? And when you go to get the enhanced edition, like it's on sale for 50% off right now, but even then it's like 1250, right? So I was like, okay, but like that's one game. I, I bought the whole bundle of like classics for like five bucks, so I'm gonna play them. And not knowing that it would be so terrible, right? I was like, why, why would I pay 1250 when I own the, the other version, the non-enhanced version, right? That's why I'd pay because I guess the enhanced one, they've already fucked around to make it work on Windows 10. Yeah. Yeah, any time, well, mm, I was going to say any time that there's a, like, enhanced version or re-release, I tend to scoop that up if it's something I really want to return to. But that's not always the case. They usually, it's like half and half these days, or they'll fuck it up somehow. Yeah, that's true. Or, I, like, I appreciate, like, a lot of the times these days now, with games new enough, you'll get it, and then, like, a year and a half later, an enhanced edition will come out, but they're like, oh, you guys bought this on Steam. Like, here's your enhanced edition for free, right? Like, they don't make you re-buy it. Um, you know, like, Divinity and, and that kind of stuff, right? So yeah. it's like, so it's like, okay, cool. But when it's so old, a lot of those times the enhanced edition is simply their way of saying like we cleaned it up a bit graphically so it's not so dated and we made sure that it runs without crashing like a bugger so right and it's like one. okay yeah the original version came out in 1998 your enhanced edition was like 2005 so sure gemini thank you Enjoy your lurk. Also, yes, um, formula change just considered discontinued. Which? Uh, I side note the stream question I asked in the go live message was, uh, what's a discontinued product you'd bring back? Ah, I gotcha. Ah, uh, warheads were good. How'd they change it? I'll eat the cheesecake, Annika. Just put it in the fridge. Uh, I'll eat it another time. Also, for anyone in my chat who wants to see. Also, games. I didn't want to say anything during the thing. You did get the name wrong, technically. What, in the promo vid? Yeah. Screaming and stoicism. I'm glad to hear plant. I wish I could have, um... And all of that stuff came up in... The Last of Us 2 released at... A terrible time in the year, so it was one of those things where uh, I don't think I, I need to play through it again because I, I I really enjoyed it, but I didn't just or dissect it like I did the first game uh, nearly as heavily, just because everything that was going on. So I, I want to replay it at some point, maybe whenever they release the PS5 upgrade.
Oh. I realized I mentioned all that about the trailer and the game and everything, and we didn't even mention it. Oh, yeah. The game, the game that I sent to you was the Dungeons & Dragons Dark Alliance game. Slated for a June 2021 release. And it's going to be an action RPG, real-time, dynamic co-op. I'm just hoping that it doesn't play like Vermintide. Yeah, um, I I would not want that. I honestly couldn't really get into Vermintide. And I, I don't know if it was because... I, I don't know why, but it was like... It was like weird Skyrim hits, sort of, right? Because it was like first person and you'd have like the blades in your hands and then you'd go to do the chop and it's like, cool. But then also like... It was almost like you had to poke an enemy and then and then quickly back up to not get hit instead of any sort of like dodge. It was a weird feel of how they accomplish the uh, like the melee and stuff in that game. It, for me, it was like they took the worst parts of Left 4 Dead 2 and m magnified them by 10. Mm. Yeah, so I, I hope I hope this new Dark Alliance game will actually make it honestly almost like resident evil where it's like you get that maybe like over the shoulder at like like we are right now right you get that like older the, over the shoulder sort of action and it's like third person over the shoulder and you can just kind of see you know where your arrows are going by a targeting reticle or like same thing with the melee and the melee is more beefy sort of thing like almost like uh um um Avengers. Hmm. Speaking of that, um, I have uh, something to mention about that after this conversation. Okay. Are you perhaps? Oh, okay. <laughs> no, no, continue. Uh well, no, that was it. Like, okay. that's it about Dark Alliance. I really hope people are, and I mean, like, I, I read that. Did you read those books? No. Uh, the companions and like Driz and all that, right? I know of them. I, I never read them myself. Yeah, I, I I read a decent chunk of them, and like, it's not the best writing in the world, but certainly when you're a teenager and kicking ass with D and D and stuff, like it, it's it's harmless fun, right? So it's like okay, I enjoy that these are familiar characters to me, which is kind of neat. So we'll we'll see. Ho hopefully hopefully this game goes really well um and then the other thing oh, i was just going to transition into the one you sent me which i'm also quite excited for if it mm. if it plays well yeah that's a kicker it's always the kicker so the game snake sent me is called the day before um and the only thing i don't like about that is it just says release date coming soon like cool that means nothing. That could mean next year, or that could mean next month. <laughs> it's um, supposed to be slated for a 2021 release, but who knows with... Oh, okay. Yeah. Like, that's what I'm saying. Even if they said release date 2021, I'd be like, okay, that gives me some sort of rough... You know what I mean? Um... So I, I told you over message that this looks to me like a really like it's giving me division vibes, but in a good way, because I know division wasn't everyone's cup of tea. I personally enjoyed quite a lot of it, but, you know, there, there were things that weren't so great. Um, hopefully, maybe the combat like the time to kill is a little bit lowered. Like I know in division, it can feel like I'm firing a machine gun into this guy's head. I put like 70 rounds into him and he's, you know, three three quarters of the way dead only, right? And the bullet sponge effect. Yeah. So it's like the day before is like a post-apocalyptic, you know, it's your classic post-apocalyptic, zombies overrunning, you know, all that kind of stuff. Um, but it looks clean. It looks uh, like the gameplay looked clean and good. Um, the visuals look stunning. Uh, we didn't see a ton of gameplay because they were doing like, they were doing like a corny narrative thing. Yeah, like they, were, they did the division. 
Yeah, it was like the whole scripted. Yeah, the whole like literally every step was scripted. But then in the top left, it would be like if you and I did it, right? Did you see like Shay and Snake or like, you know, Butt Muncher 42 or whatever. So it's like, it's all like this serious script where it's like, ah, oh, no, we're almost out of gas. Oh, well, we better hop out and get some then, you know? But like you'd see their microphones light yeah. up and shit. So it was like, okay, yeah, it's like it's like the cross between like a cinematic trailer, but they're doing it in gameplay. So mm -hmm. it, was just, it was a little bit weird. And but... a little, like, it, I'm fine with those kinds of trailers personally if they are acted well, but they, they never are. No, I'm okay with it. Like, I don't care. It's just corny, dumb fun, right? But I did like seeing some of the stuff like you know seeing some of the gameplay i appreciated that um and, and so but i don't have too much more to go on right like how how scarce is food what's the main drive of the game what are you setting out to do is there like base building how you know they were driving around in a car how rare is that will you see that often will you see other players cruising around the streets because like they can craft their little gameplay narrative. But then if I get into the game and everyone's newming around in a car at the speed of sound crashing mm. into one another, then that kind of, you know, like, so how does your game actually play? Yeah, the, the bullet points for me were, it's post-apop or post-apocalyptic, yes, but it's post-apop or post-apocalyptic urban that is a very very uh unusual thing it's usually like rural or suburban this is a city where you run around massive open world similar to the division i respect and you have a bunch of structures you can go into and there's verticality to it there are levels yeah. that's i want to see sorry go ahead now go ahead no, continue. If you, I thought you had something more to say. You, you don't really see that in zombie games. You don't really, unless it's something like uh, something that is very heavily narrative focused. Yeah. Yeah, and and like, oh, I, I would like to see. Back. A, a, a lot of those buildings be able to be accessible and like you said the full verticality of it not just like you know oh, but only like one in ten buildings you can actually go into right like I'd like to see a good chunk of it be accessible and and have those different because like the guy went up the elevator right and it was in like some offices and stuff like that and then they were like filled with zombies and I'd like to see that too like it looked to me like zombies would run at you right so I, I, I would like to have it, that like tense gameplay, you know? I, w I would like to have it where it's like, yeah, you have a shotgun, but you saw all those zombies in the offices, right? Like, it, 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 unless you were packing like 200 rounds, you weren't killing all of those zombies. Yeah. So I would like to see that, where it's like that, that urban jungle setting where you're just kind of like every bullet, you're like, okay, is this worth shooting, you know? Or am I shooting because things have already gone to hell? Like we're already running away from a horde anyway. I might as well shoot some so that we can get away. That kind of stuff, right? Rather than just like going up to an office building and being like, all right, let's mow everything down. And it's like, yeah, okay, but eh. Yeah, one thing that I really appreciate is uh, enemies that are attracted to sound in zombie games. And that seems to be the case this time around. So yeah, it's like you, you could deal with a couple that are in your way, even if you alert them, but at what cost? And there's also yeah. the one thing that always, that rubs me the wrong way, but makes me a little concerned is when you introduce a PVP element into the mix. Because right. in, in games like these, people like to grief. Or yeah. Like that, that's, kind of like the setting they shoot for, so fair enough, but thinking about all the interactions in games like DayZ, where it's like, well, I just want to run around and survive with friends, but I also have to worry about bandits sort of thing. It adds a, a layer of stress that I could take or leave. It really, really depends. 
Yeah, and I, I like if games are gonna do this and be MMOs and stuff. See, that's why I like the concept of like roleplay servers and PvP servers and that kind of stuff, right? Um, it, it, because you're right, and it touches a little bit of what I was talking about before with the whole like cars numing around, right? Like same thing. If you're trying to foster like this intense environment where it's like, uh, you know, every shot counts and like, do you really want to make that noise and like all that kind of stuff. Yeah, you will get the people that come in and like, they're really good at PvP or just, you know, FPS in general, and they just want to like, grief people or, or fuck around and kill people and stuff, right? And so it, it kind of breaks that immersion or it breaks that like suspension of disbelief, right? Where you're, you know, you're trying to play a certain way and then, you know, someone comes by and they've grinded into the later levels of the game. So they've got the grenade launcher and the car and everything. So, you know, you'll be like, oh, this is so tense. And then all of a sudden like, and a guy will just get out, shoot like eight grenades your way. You're dead now. He's looting your corpse. Off he goes. And it's like, yeah, okay. If we could separate that out and be like, if you want that, or if you want like PVP and try and may the best man win, go to the PVP server. Yeah, this, um, I've been looking into various like mods and things for GTA 5 and Red Dead Redemption or Red Dead Online. And there are a handful of um, like different role play things that I might consider at some point just to eliminate some of the tomfoolery that goes around or goes on in uh, the base online modes for those. Yeah. So that was basically it about the day before. Like, I I feel like it's a wait and see thing, right? It's like, we need to see more of the game. We need to see more stuff to really get an idea for it. But like a lot of these, at least if, if they out, oh, my bad. At least if they show a little bit of promise, like I just tossed them on my Steam wish list. My Steam wish list is, is, is both a, oh, I actually want these and also like a, I'll keep an eye on this because then you yeah. get, you also get announcements of like the game that you wish for is in early access or like the game that you wanted is on sale for 50 percent. It's like, OK, cool. Yeah, that's all I've been using my wish list for these days. I didn't use these at all. Right. But then, yeah, there are a handful of things now that I am mildly interested in, but they are all in EA just not out yet but mostly ea and it's like well i don't really want to take that it's not even that i want it it, it would be a like me taking a chance it's it's like valheim like i'm very interested in getting into valheim but i also don't really well it's a survival game so there's less risk of this there maybe i'll reassess that but running out of content right playing a game that's really good like starting off really good and then just blowing through the content and then it's yeah. like, well, I guess whenever they release more, I'll revisit it and have to do everything I did over. And no, thank you. And you basically have to research that, right? Because it's like early access is early access. It's not like early access, stage one, stage four. Like there's no standardized thing, right? So you can have games like Slay the Spire was early access for the longest time. And it was like basically finished, you know, like it, it, it had a really good amount of content um to your point like valheim it, it's got a good amount of content that i feel would keep people busy for a long time i mean minus like yeah like if if you play a game and you're able to devote hours and hours a day but i'm talking but that still gives you play time right like i guess from a pure hours played perspective it's got enough content there um but you just don't know like the forest early on right like there was the barest strip of a story, right? And like a lot of it was jank when it was when it was really early. I mean, some of it's still jank, but you know what I mean? Like a lot of it was jank and you just don't know. Like unless you have friends who have it or unless you like can look on like 
subreddits or forums or something like that and be like, is this, how early access is this? And then there are other companies that just kind of like, it's formulaic, right? Like um, Baldur's Gate 3 by Larian, right? It's like, what, Act 1 is available to play? And it's like, that's fair, that's fine, but that's that's their decision. It's like, you can, you can run around in Act 1, but this is what you're gonna get out of it, done. And so you just, yeah, you, you just don't know. It's like, you, you gotta basically be a savvy consumer and look into that stuff before you hit pull the trigger. Yep. Speaking of games that are uh, early access, Avengers. Their uh, Hawkeye update drops tomorrow. Oh. And I'm hoping that in the process they iron out uh, many of the issues we've been having, but I'm not. I don't have. Uh, no, it's not still in early access. That was the joke, because it with all the bugs and everything, it might as well be. Honestly, I checked. <laughs> like you made that joke, and I checked. I was like, I was I was only seventy percent sure you were kidding. I was like, no, yes, no. <laughs> Yeah, it's, uh, they're getting there, but they definitely are prior or prioritizing console, specifically PS4 slash 5. Like, PS5 is getting a very, very substantial update. Like, it'll be compatible with that system. It'll utilize the, the power of it, both with graphics and loading times. Um, and then, yeah, just stability. PC hasn't really seen much of that, and... I don't think they're doing the same with Xbox, which is unfortunate. But as I, uh, I don't know, we'll see how it goes. If it, I'm going to fuck with it. I don't know if you have any interest to go back. But uh, I'm going to fuck with it at the very least on PC. I managed to grab a, a very, very cheap PS4 copy. And that's the only money I've spent on it. So I figured, why the heck not? Because I I didn't... Like, I have never purchased the game prior. Yeah. But uh, PS4 gets a free PS5 upgrade. So I'm like, well, I don't really have much to lose at this point. So if right. PC is a bust, I'm just going to swap over to PS5. Because I do enjoy the game. I just wish it ran properly, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Eh. Like, would I go back? Yes. I mean, I, I, I'm down to just fuck around in it. The other thing is, and I think someone in your chat mentioned, like, I would just, like... A lot of the content is... I don't want to say not content because that's rude, but it's like you, you do the campaign, right? But then after that, you know, you do the Avengers Initiative multiplayer, but it's just kind of like, it's just like lip service to content. Like you go in, right? It's like, they'll give you a little, like maybe two line bark about what you're doing on that particular mission. And then you run around opening doors and like going and beating up a boss or whatever, right? Like, it's like, almost during the loading screen, it's like... Ah, so, you know, the Scientist Supreme was working on some clones, eh? Yeah, and we better do something about it. And then you just, you just go and do the mission and, like, you know what I mean? It's not like, there's not like, <clears throat> gripping, like... And not that it was necessarily gripping, but I mean like... I, I don't know, just like, um... Like, GTA 5 on, like, the heists? were pretty involved in it, like, you know, what you were trying to do and what the score was and how you were going to accomplish that and all that kind of stuff, right? And when I say gripping content, like, all I mean is, like, content in general that doesn't feel like formulaic stuff to just get you into, like, a mission collect or, like, a defeat this boss or whatever, right? 
Yeah. Like, how, you know, yes, that's basically how the campaign is, but you get those little cutscenes and you get those little, like, what's going on with this character yeah, and story. why are they doing this? Yeah, there's story there, right? More so than, like I said, just a little voice acted bark of, like, setting up the boss to be defeated. Also, our Marvel movies known for the grouping content. I mean, kind of. In, like, long term. Although yeah. I will say that uh, there's definitely something to be said about how formulaic a good chunk of them are. Like, that it's been rift to hell, and for good reason. But yeah, like, when you, when you talk long term, especially, uh, like, Phase 3 stuff with Marvel, it's... Uh, People go back because of the characters in the story. Yeah, everyone always seems to riff on Marvel for like, I don't know, just having like, I don't know, like ham fisted hero stuff. But it's like, but that's what I go to it for, you know? Like, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't go to it to get really, I don't know, pulled along into some crazy intrigue or like, something that makes my brain work over time or like anything like yeah it's it's ham-fisted superhero stuff and you know like I, I don't know i don't think there's anything wrong with that no i think that that's why they are successful i will say that my favorite of the uh of the marvel films is what i consider to be the deepest one funnily enough winter soldier because that does have at least it has more intrigue than a lot of them I'll say and it's set up in a almost like political thriller-esque sort of way with a Marvel coat of paint right but to expect that from all of them yeah that, that's uh, the tall order Comics are the, yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's one of the, well, I was going to say one of the things that sort of annoys me with the discourse with Marvel stuff is uh, people talking about how ridiculous some of it is. And it's like, well, that a lot of what they're doing came straight from the comics, but that that's also a commentary on the comics, which are inherently silly. Yeah. So yeah, that's fair. I like you know, uh, um, like pulling something apart or, or you know, pointing and being like, oh, what, but wait a minute, couldn't they have just, or, you know, like that kind of stuff, or it's like, wait, but how did they, if if this didn't, you know, like all, all of that stuff, right? Um, but it doesn't ruin my enjoyment of it, you know? Like, like, it's like, I don't expect that to be airtight. Yeah. And it doesn't, it like, like some people, it's like, they see something like that and they're like, oh, well, that's not realistic. Or like, oh, that couldn't happen because X, Y, Z or whatever, right? And it just like, they're like, that was a dumb movie. And it's like, but man, like, these are people that like, a guy gets angry and he's like one of the most powerful dudes ever. <laughs> like, yeah. I get the whole, like, you know, if they're trying to go for something, if they're trying to, like, you know, do things like time travel, or if they're trying to do, like, some scientific, like, yeah, having some sort of premise or, like, explanation or somebody trying to be like, oh, yeah, this works because X, Y, even if you can then poke a pin and be like, wait, but hold on, no, because no, you know, but they at least gave that attempt, right? It doesn't have to be perfect, but I get wanting some sort of explanation. <clears throat> Eric, thank you for 27 months. Time travel indeed. It's, it's sort of like me with Resident Evil. Like I, they started off trying to give mm, like moderately uh, fun and semi plot, well, semi air quotes, uh, plausible hmm. explanations for uh, like it was rooted in a weird pseudoscience, everything. Like they, they made an effort 
and it just like that was fun to dissect, but it was also it was just fun to be in it. Right. I mean, a lot of the stuff, a lot of stuff goes that way, right? It's like, again, I'm going to stick with what I know and what I've been watching lately, but like Naruto, right? Mm. When it started, they were like throwing little knives at each other and like trying to fake the other person out in which direction they threw the knife so that they could get them and stuff, right? Mm. And I just watched an episode last night where like Angie Cat ripped all his skin off and just like the air... The, the air around his power aura was so powerful that like a 10,000 trees exploded next to him. You know what I mean? It's like, yeah, <laughs> Dragon Ball Z. Yeah. Or just Dragon Ball in general, right? Like another thing where it's like, oh, okay, yeah. So, oh no, oh yeah, he's training hard. And like, now he can do a little beam out of his hands and like, oh, when the moon's right, he turns into a big gorilla and like, that's cool. Okay, yeah, yeah, I'm on board with that. And now it's just like, instant transmission teleportation to the moon! My, my super Kamehameha Masenko Rasengan Blue Blue Blast can destroy literal galaxies! Yeah. <laughs> it's like, well, a lot of shit does that. Yeah. Also, Asriel, that does not count as a product. It Long-standing series are the worst for it, but because they, mm. they have to up the ante somehow. Yeah. Supernatural. Oh God. <laughs> that shark jumping episode. You know the one. I do not know the one. No, I... you don't. But I, this is a general statement. Mm. I know a lot of people in your chat and mine are nodding and going, "Yeah, we know the one." I've watched the first two seasons uh, of Supernatural when they aired, and I haven't really watched it since. So thank you, Tara, for 23 months. Yeah, okay. I, 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 maybe, maybe some people are still like, oh no, about the spoilers, because like, I'm that way with Buffy, because I still haven't watched that, right? So I am about to say, I, I'm about to be very general as I do when I describe things, but I am going to, you can sort of consider this a spoiler. So if you don't want a Supernatural spoiler, please don't listen for like 20 seconds. Three, two, one, zero. Okay, beginning of Supernatural. Oh no, you mean like, like supernatural things are real and like, ah, oh, a, a demon. Oh, a demon, that's like, that's so tough and like, it, it, it's really fucking us up. Like current Supernatural. Mm -hmm. So anyway, we punched God in the yeah. face and then his brother was acting a little uppity. So we kicked the shit out of him too. Died about three times before lunch, but don't worry. We made 8,000 deals with death, killed him with a dagger as well. And everything's fine now. <laughs> Jesus fucking <Yep>. Christ. <laughs> X-Files is just supernatural, but good. I agree. Ah, uh, you're back. Thank you, C7, for 11 months here. I'll hang on to it. Thank you. When do you want it back? Yeah, you should uh, let me know. Did you ever start Buffy? Yep. I started it. I watched like three episodes and I was like, this sucks. Mm. But then I do know that you said to me, get through season one. Yeah. But like... I guess. Yeah. <laughs> it's like the reverse supernatural. Cause like, yeah, supernatural in the beginning, it was like, it all felt like it mattered and stuff, right? Mm -hmm. Whereas like, like Buffy, I gotta slog through some stuff to get to the good stuff, I guess, right? I couldn't even tell you what she was doing half the time in those three episodes I watched. Like I can, but like, I just mean it was long enough ago that I can't tell you exactly what she fought, but it was just kind of like blooping around and like, I, I think the principal came in and, and it was trying to do something where it was like, oh, but you still got to pretend to be normal and go to school and stuff. There was like a library or something. And then she needed to find a book or some something. I don't know. It was so corny and awful. Yeah. One. Buffy is a early, like, season one Buffy is such a 
such a mixed bag of weird and not good with some highlights, but uh, it's that way because of the source material, which was a movie. And the first season was basically proof of concept. Only got 12 episodes. And then after that, it really found its stride when that's when they brought on like these like better writers. Um, they, I, they like, oh, we made it past this hurdle. We let's actually make this good sort of thing. OK, the maybe my downfall was I watched it alone. Like maybe mm. I should watch it with Annika or with you or something, because like I was watching it and like it was just so hard to not be like, oh, I should check my phone or I should like I just yeah, wasn't yeah. engaged. Right. And there was nobody that I could turn to and be like, what the fuck is this? You know, like there was there was nobody to like bounce my 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 vitriol off where I was like, this is dumb. Or like, why is she in this library doing this thing that I don't care about? Mm. There was there was there was nobody to oh, talk to. So I just kind of sat there like this isn't engaging me. Mm. Now I get that it's, it's very much a uh, product of the 90s. I think some of it has aged well. Uh, a lot of it, especially early, Buffy has not. Uh, you're Sorry, back. cynical and icy pandemonium. Thank you for 33 months and three months, respectively. Also, Ma, I missed you resubscribing for 21 months. Sorry about that. But yeah, it's. Uh, and I recently. Okay, what season? It was season, I got through season three of Buffy because I wanted to get to season one of, I wanted to restart Angel, so I made a point to get through um, Buffy up to that point. Right. Grow, thank you for 18 months. <clears throat> See, like after, after Supernatural, my trash crime fill it for there. My trash, supernatural, crime thriller of the week was Lucifer. Hmm. Pretty sure that has, uh... Does Lucifer have D.B. Woodside in it? Hmm, who dat? Uh, bald black guy. I mean, yes, there is, in fact, a bald black guy in it. With a goatee. <laughs> Yeah, I think I know him from Suits. Mm. I know him from Suits. Um, Days and late, Buffy. Yeah, DB Woods. That yes, yeah. Suits is like one of my favorite shows ever, mm. and I I know uh, him from that as well. There's a couple of actors. That are in suits that are that are in uh Lucifer. There's also uh oh god, what who um Trisha Helfer is in Lucifer, I'm pretty sure. Uh who's in Battlestar Galactica. Lauren German. I know the name, I don't have a face. Um um He was in uh, uh, what what got me so like oh my god is she was in um oh the the, the, the video game that I played what the God's um heck? not oh, control yeah the um, uh, um what the hell was that called something break no uh wait yes so. quantum break quantum break thank you yes she was in quantum break but they like. They modeled her like they, they, you know, they put the diodes on her and mm. like modeled her face and modeled her everything into the game. So I started playing Quantum Break and, and of it, it's just her like they, they use her as the voice actor and as the character model. Mm. So the minute I started playing Quantum Break, I was like, wait, wait, this is just Chloe from Lucifer. Chloe from Lucifer's in this game. <laughs> Azrael, thank you. Uh, I haven't seen any of the. More on that later, because I'm, I'm going to say way into that. Um, stick a pin in that, Ezreal. But yeah, I... It's so weird seeing... Um, the, the line between, I guess, the different media... Or I guess... Because it's... 
the same medium, I guess, but uh, fairly similar. The line between mediums is blurring constantly between um, like film or like yeah, film, TV, video games, etc. Because I'm seeing people in games or seeing people who were in film pretty uh, heavily now in television a lot or like Netflix series, that sort of thing. You're right, yeah. It, it really used to be like a stay in your lane kind of thing. Like if someone was on television, and even like television and film, right? Mm -hmm. Like a lot of the time, if someone was on television, they were on television, period. Small screen you know, versus silver screen. Yeah, if someone appeared in movies, that was it. If you were if you were a video game VA, that was it. But you're right. I'm seeing a lot more people, and you go to their, you know, the, you go to their like filmography and stuff on Wikipedia or or IMDb or whatever, and it you just get the three different sections, right? You're like, oh, they were in these three movies, but also voiced these couple of characters I know from these video games. They appeared in an episode of Law and Order, of course, or like you know, like all that stuff. Yeah, it's, uh, it's part of me. It feels like it's pushing smaller actors out of the game. I, I think that's fair. I do. Well, I think it's fair to, I don't think the phenomenon is so widespread yet for that to be a legit concern. It's mostly with, well, I guess if you consider Those, like, film actors are not cheap. So, for them to appear in games in the first place would require the game to be, to have a bunch of money to throw around. And that's not always the case, unless it's a, a AAA title. So, you might see that with something like a Call of Duty or something like that, but you don't see it too often. Yeah, and like an indie game. Yeah. Like a small studio project. Yeah. But, um, Azrael asked the question of the DC animated stuff. I haven't watched many of those in a while. The last one I think I saw was the one I forced you all to watch in Canada, I think it was. Okay. Which, which one was that? The Teen Titans one. Um, I forget what it was oh. called. Judas okay. Contract? No, maybe. Yeah, I think so. I, yeah, honestly, I, I, I subscribe to the whole, like, the DC movies generally don't land for me. Mm. They're not great. The Marvel movies are great. The Marvel animated movies are, like, I wouldn't call them bad, but they're just like, eh, they're okay. Mm. Whereas the DC animated, they, they like knock it out of the park. Mm. Although that Teen Titans one was bad. <laughs> Any interest in the Snyder Cut? The what? So, uh, the Justice League film. Um, I forget what, I forget the exact circumstances surrounding the tragedy, but... Zack Snyder was directing it at first. Uh, he had to take a, he basically had to remove himself from the film because of something that happened in his personal life, I think. I wanna say there was a death, I can't quite remember, but Joss Whedon was brought in to direct the film and wrap up for him. And uh, it wasn't very good, so. Oh, bummer. Yeah. Um, Zack Snyder has since, like through sheer fandom people screaming at HBO um uh, he went back and basically redid it redid his Fine. vision of it I'll do it myself <laughs> yeah and it's a four hour long movie uh it's his cut of it and uh it's, it releases what tomorrow on wow. HBO Max huh Everything I've seen so far indicates that it's decent, uh, at least better than the Whedon cut, which is uh, apparently not okay. a very high bar to hurdle. 
right? Oh, aren't we getting more Young Justice too? I think so. I thought Young Justice was supposed to come out with another season. They did a couple of those. They they were fun. I liked that. Mm. It it really got me to give a crap about the characters and like the development and everything like that. It was it was a good series. And I believe they were supposed to come out with it. I don't know if they're like working on it right now or if it was one of those like they were supposed to get one, but it's halted for the moment. Young Justice season four release date. It's supposed to be August of this year. Mm. HBO Max as well. <laughs> yeah, I'm. I have a. I skipped out on the Justice League because I had no real desire to. Uh... It's one of those things that was sort of panned pretty much universally with the exception of uh, very small pockets of fans and that made me go you know just wait for a home release and my father to grab it and throw it up on voodoo and he did that and i just never watched it so i'm probably just gonna grab a free trial of hbo match through hulu since i have that and uh watch it and then cancel it right I think you would like Young Justice. Um, I will say the first couple of episodes, I, like sort of drag only in the sense that they have to get that classic crap out of the way where, you know, where, where all the all the bigs are a thing. Oh yeah. And the kids, the kids have to have their like, no, we're just as kids. We're not kids anymore. Yeah, we're, we're a team and we're gonna show you and we'd like our own missions and like you got to get that crap out of the way yeah. it takes an episode or two you get a trial to... sorry go ahead i was talking to asian guy uh i need to do the same thing with uh i've never done a what is a disney trial mm. i need to start my did the, the when when the mandalorian is done or or you know i guess it's far enough along that like i can just start a trial watch it all and then be like enough of that um, Mandalorian season two is complete. Yeah. So if you if you're waiting for the I, I don't know what they're or when the third will happen, even if there is one. But um, yeah, there's also Wandavision. Yeah, but, I heard a lot of people were liking that now too. I thought it was okay. Uh, I I've never really been into Vision. Yeah, that's the like. Th like go ahead. Scarlet Witch and Wanda, yes, but even in Marvel, I didn't feel like they really gave her her full due. Like, eh. Yeah, that was my um, trepidation with it in the first place. Just Vision hasn't really done much for me historically, and I thought that they did Wanda dirty. So it's like, well, what is there for me here? But I gave it a shot, and... Um, the most interesting parts of the show don't really involve either of them. It's more the implications of, uh, like it does by virtue of it being about them, but it's more so the implications of what happens in the show mm. and what that means for the, the MCU going forward, that sort of thing. Although I will say that both characters uh, I thought were at least made more interesting than they ever were in the uh, the MCU for me. Yeah, the made me perk up. What made me perk up a little bit about it was um, oh, the the actor who plays Vision, Paul um, Bettany. Yeah, I I think I saw a couple of tweets praising because didn't they just did WandaVision just have a season finale? Yeah. I think, yeah. So people were pra I didn't see any spoilers for it. I, I literally just saw people being like, ah, oh, really good performance by him. Like, blew me away. It was awesome, right? It's like, mm. okay. I would say the acting in, in it is pretty solid all around. I don't think there was anybody who stood out to me as not good. Like, they, I will say they bring 
MCU quality to it in terms of uh, like production value, that sort of thing. Right. See, I wanted to see more uh, street level super stuff, like more, you know, Jessica Jones seasons, Punisher seasons, yeah. et cetera, et cetera, right? Um, I haven't got that yet. Funny enough, Annika refuses to watch anything past season one of Jessica Jones. Oh? Like I showed her. And I was like, oh, this is this is really good and everything, right? Um, and and I said, you know, David Tennant's in it. He does a really good performance. It's really awesome. And I did say to her, I feel like, personally for me, it's not that the other seasons are bad. There, it like, just doesn't have David Tennant. It just doesn't have David Tennant and his performance yeah. as a villain, right? Like, it doesn't have his performance. And so... They're not bad, but like the pacing of the second season is a little off to me, mm. right? Like it doesn't really. And so I made the mistake of saying things like that. Like rather I was like, oh, you know, David Tennant said the first one, it's a really phenomenal season. And like, and she was like, what about the other ones? I was like, yeah, they're they're, they're good, you know, but I, I just don't feel like they live up. So she was like, and because of the way that it all unfolds, if you know, right? Like in, in the first season, she was like, no, I'm good to leave it there. That seems great. Mm. <laughs> it's like, that's fair. You know, if you were only going to watch one season of Jessica Jones, the first one would be the one I'd suggest anyway. <laughs> but, yeah, it's like, I can't watch any more of it with her because she won't. Yeah, yeah, see, she's talking now. I just want to stop watching with a positive taste in my mouth. <laughs> Because if you continue, you get that chance at like season three, you go, meh, I wish it had stopped in season one. You know, it's like, I can't fault you for that. Yeah, I think that's fair. Uh, I, and I'm, it's tough with the Marvel shows specifically. Because the, uh, you have what? Uh, Daredevil has three seasons. Jessica Jones has three seasons. Luke Cage has two. Uh, Punisher has two. Iron Fist has two. And Defenders has one. Um, thankfully. But that was the point, wasn't it? I thought Defenders was al always supposed to be like a mini series thing to tie it. Like, yeah, I didn't think their intention was like, let's make two or three seasons. No. I, I assumed it was no this done. Yeah, that was that was the point. But. Uh... It wasn't great. <laughs> it was better than Iron Fist season one. Yeah, I, it's it's weird. Like. Daredevil season one is very good. Uh, Daredevil season three is incredible. Um. Season two, not so much. I feel like it's the opposite for Jessica Jones, where you have season one that's incredible, season three that's good, and but still two is not great. And then yeah. I, Luke Cage, season one is okay, season two, eh. but Iron Fist is the opposite, where season one is abysmal, and then season two is like, I guess. Yeah, I couldn't really get into. I couldn't really get into Iron Fist. Luke Cage, I feel like I didn't give a full go because I think I think that was the one that you said I could skip. Like rather, because I was watching Daredevil. Like I watched Jessica Jones, and then I was watching Daredevil, and it was on your like recommendation, right? Because like it, it was what? What is it? Season two that I watched, mm. and you were like, "All right, now before you watch season three of this." There's a bunch of other stuff that happens and you don't have to watch all of Iron Fist and Defenders and all of that stuff. But certainly there's gonna be a bunch of things in the season that, that'll just go over, like like it'll just go over my head, right? Mm. So I was like, uh, all right, I guess I'll pause Daredevil and go watch these three other series. And I was like, really, do I have to? And you're like, I think you said, you were like, not Luke Cage. You don't have to watch it because there's not a what is it? The, the hand. There's not all that stuff in his, right? Yeah, he, his was the least relevant, I think. Yeah. Whereas Iron Fist, it was very prominent. 
Mm. And and then of course the defenders brought it all together and like all that stuff. So I skipped Luke Cage, which I feel wasn't like I should give him a shot on his own. Mm. Um because because I would say like I love Jessica Jones, I really like Daredevil. I didn't really like uh Iron Fist at all. Mm. Like from the concept of the character to like just the actor itself and and then Luke Cage I did like him but I don't I don't see enough of, I've only ever seen him in the supporting role like when he shows up in Jessica Jones right and yeah. you're like oh yeah that like he gave a good performance I like his character but then there's things that he says right and you know those moments when you know there's more to the story right or like even in even in movies when they're doing callbacks or tie-ins to other movies right mm. like you'll just have certain conversations with jessica and you'll throw in like a i've been there right and you're like oh okay that's a whole season in your show describing how you have in fact been there <laughs> and like i just don't have that context with him so it'd be interesting to know his story yeah it's God, I, uh, I have mixed feelings about the Luke Cage seasons. I need to give him a rewatch at some point. I am currently rewatching Punisher. Like, I'm mostly through season two. And that's been interesting. Yeah. And that's a character I wish... I understand why he's not in more of it. Like, I understand why they gave him his own. Like, A, I think John Bernthal's performance deserved its own show, but I understand why he's not really in much past where he exists in uh, Daredevil. I Like, I, I get that. I wish he was still in more of it, just because seeing it with the actors from that universe is great. Yeah. Like anything with uh, with him and Karen is great. It's a brutal show, though. Yeah, it is. Like in terms of the gunplay and like just the brutality of it all. It's a lot. It's like it's like John Wick esque, you know. It's this like, damn. It, it is very, very, uh, very, very heavy with the violence. Now it's not the yeah no I'm not I'm not saying I want them to bring back the Punisher show, but the character if they ever do any of uh, any of the Marvel shit like if they bring any of them back I would not be remiss to see him in any of the other shows. I do not think though that putting it like putting a character aside because of what the character has come like what the public has what people co-opted yeah represent. no i don't think that's a very good thing to do at all i think at the if like as a creator of any sort of media or art it then becomes a it would become a mission for me to subvert that bullshit Yeah, it's like character blackmail. It's like, well, we're just going to use this person as a mascot for hate. And you're right. As the creator, I'd be like, or fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> like, no. <laughs> oh, anyway. Rock has the right idea. Yeah, there you go, Rock. Hell yeah. <laughs> Frank Castle is played by Bernie Sanders. <laughs> I'm now just picturing some of those scenes. The brutal heavy scenes with just Bernie in them. <laughs> I think I need that. Uh... All right, I'm, I'm good to kill some zombies. Resident. Resident Evil. Boop. Surprise. Oh, I need to.
I already side eye him in the comics. Yeah, it makes sense. Go ahead. It just says Snake invited you to play Resident Evil 6, and there's no join button or anything. It just that's just what it says. It's like if I sent oh. you a text message and I was <laughs> like, hey, play this. <laughs> You're like, okay. Try it again. All right. Oh yeah, of I can't believe I missed that. Of course my lights have to be green. No, it's just saying the same thing. What's happening? <laughs> I, it's it's probably because I am set to uh, invisible in peace ah. mode. Yeah, okay, okay. Or not invisible, but... Yeah, I know. Private, whatever the hell it's called. I really hope they do something with Charlie Cox and Matt Murdock again. See profile. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Edit. How do I? Privacy oh. settings. Sir Dan, I have a question for you, and you'll you'll it'll take me a moment to ask it. Hold on, I have to look at something because I can't remember the game. Give me one sec. Oops. Let me know if this works when you get a chance. Right. Sir Dan, are you like super into Overwatch at all? That still didn't work, oddly. Hmm. Allow me, then, to restart the game. But it also says you're playing Borderless Gaming instead of Resident Evil. That so, might be... So why? Uh, I'm gonna restart the game. Because I opened okay. up Borderless Gaming second. It's probably okay. what it is. Not in particular, but I do enjoy the character designs. Okay, cool. The, the official Gilded server has, like, leaderboards, and there's an Overwatch leaderboard, and it's the top five, and the fifth person on that list is, is Sir Dan. Literally, their name is Sir Dan. And so I was like, no, that could, but maybe. <laughs> so I figured I'd ask. I you to read Download Three Houses. I'm very sorry. We finished the second chapter, yeah? Yeah. I believe so, because we did that technically separately, right? Yes. Also, do you change your FOV settings? Oh, fuck. Let me do that. Well, uh, and also, tell me what to change them to. I, I think I went 15 and 10, respectively. I have I to go into camera, right? Yeah, let me... I, I can back out and check. Does it still say I'm in borderless gaming? Uh, uh, nope, now you're in Resident Evil 6. And I can see play game now. Gotcha. But I mean, you'll probably have to invite again if you... Yeah. Uh, 15 Am and I 10, normal yeah. game sharing machine? I don't think so, Annika. Hold on. 15, 10, there. 10 are my... Values. For let me. Am I in the right spot? Uh, so camera default settings. Camera. Yeah. Default then, camera field of view is 15. Yeah. And 10. And, and then 10. 10. Okay. That's what I use. Feel free to play around with it as necessary. But I'm gonna have to go in and out of the game, well, right? Yeah. I mean, like I'm not gonna. Yeah. It's gonna be a bit of a screw pain. around. There's. Thanks, Antica. There's no FOV mod that we found, but, uh, oh, thank you, games. Um, and I'll, I was really just making a joke. You didn't have to do that, but I appreciate it. 
Uh, no, there's no FOV mod thing. It's there's just a slider that you can change in the main settings. You cannot do it in game for some reason. And it's really <laughs> stupid. Yeah. Yeah, you can't say shit like that around Leo. I'm very sorry. Leo will immediately be like, fuck, and then spend two hours fixing it. <laughs> I also got the uh, fix message, Leo. Thank you. The president spoke highly of you, Agent Kennedy. Likewise. He told me you've been friends for 30 years. Tell me, is it true you were the only ones present at the time of his death? Because I really need to know if I can frame you. What are you saying? Well, you must be aware that you are both suspects in this attack. What? Agent Harper. At the time of the attack, you had abandoned your post. Leaving the president vulnerable. You must admit such behavior is suspicious. You son of a bitch! You're the one who plans all this! With what evidence could you base <laughs> such an outrageous accusation? I am the Wait, is this man Jiraiya from Naruto? Prevent terrorist attacks, not cause them. You liar! Elena. If the two of you feel so strongly about your innocence, that's then you should have no problem turning yourselves in. That's Gerald from Fire Emblem. Make him pay. It was probably from Naruto as well. Like just went from mm, bad yeah, I often think he's Jiraiya. I can never unhear that. <laughs> That's my. Oh, well. fuck off, Leo, you elitist. How do you feel about it? It's a thing, Annika, don't worry. Uh, it seems fine. I can't say. I mean, I didn't jump from one to the other immediately, so I can't <laughs> see I, like, have a big appreciable difference. Mm. It, it seems fine. Like, I'm I'm fine with this. Right. If you had set the other values to 15, there would be no, like, zoom in feature when you aimed. So it yeah. would just be back here. Right. Which, uh, I, I like a little bit of the zoom. I think that's useful. Yeah. Also, how it, is... It's neat, when, it's neat when iron sights or, like, aim down sights gives you a bit of zoom. Hmm. How is the brightness and everything? It should be not bad anymore. It's good, I'll take it. And yes, a lot of people watch subs and there's nothing wrong with that. And, you know, they, they often make the thing that, like, a lot of the Japanese stuff doesn't translate properly, so you don't get a lot of the original intent. But, I mean, that's the same for most translations. Um, you don't get a lot of the original intent in the dubs for some stuff. Hmm. And there's nothing wrong with watching out the subs. But I'm also arguing there's nothing wrong with watching the dubs either. But for some reason, a lot of people who watch subs, like snub people who watch dubs yeah i tend to let it, just let everyone consume their media however yeah. <laughs> i base it purely on what would uh i i really base on whether or not the english dub sound like if it's poorly acted because that exists yeah. and that's a thing for sure like there are dubs where it's like it's it's like they just like phone it in right yeah. Like, and yes, I have watched subs for that reason, where it's like, I put the, you know, I put the subtitles on and I, cause at least, at least I'm gonna get the emotion, right? Like if someone dies and I get that raw emotion or like, you know, you bastard and all that kind of stuff, right? Mm. There are some dubs where it's just like, no. And, and you're like, really? F fucking really? Yeah. 
But that's, I wouldn't say that's an indictment on dubs. That's just an indictment on people who have shitty acting. Yeah. And people who phone in performances. Because we don't speak J. Yes, that's exactly it. It's like we don't we don't know any better, so it it eases our brain, which I mean, still valid. Mm. Yeah, like I I really want to go back and watch Full uh, Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, and like yes, I I will be listening to it in dubs. And like, yeah. man, some of the emotion and like all the oh, I love it. Uh, I guess it's really good, soon. despite yeah. He who shall not be named. Okay. What are we doing? Oh yeah. We just we just beat the crap out of my sister. Yeah. She had it coming. Right. Oh, and then and then what's her name? Pulled out her uh her zip line, even though she should have been using that earlier, but just didn't for some reason. Yeah. Cool. Sorry, a Duolingo Japanese course. You got this. Also, I just want to say something real quick about uh, Obito. Um, from Naruto, because, like, again, when I was a kid, I got those Shonen Jump issues, right? And they were always way ahead. You and I are in the same boat and now. And I thought, and he still could be. Partners. I don't want anyone to spoil this for me. Fine by me, as long as you help me get to Simmons. Uh, again. So Big Naruto spoilers seems... if you care about that because I'm on well, Shippuden now. Sitting right on top of us. I'm gonna go so in the next, you know, yes. tune out for the next 60 seconds or so <laughs> if you if you care about this kind of cluster? stuff. That's. Uh, I'll, I'll wait until Leon answer. stops talking. A little history there, huh? Yeah, so quick thing about the uh, the Naruto stuff. So I, I am at the part where um, uh, Naruto just did his whole like four tails bit and became a mega monster. And that dude who likes to do ink art just left with Orochimaru. So that's where I'm at. But they've given me a little dose of Obito. And I thought as a kid, when I was reading the Shonen Jump, which was way ahead, and I can't even remember what happens at this point. But I was under the impression that at some point, he's a world ending threat. So I thought Obito was a, some big world ending threat. And, and when I was reading it, that was like, I thought a thing that I was reading flash to me on Shippuden now and the dub guy just being like oh no master I dropped the ring and I'm like what what the fuck am I is this the right guy am I looking at the right guy right now what is happening so I don't know if he has some moment where like suddenly he's just like I must get serious now. Or if he's just always like that, but just becomes a world ending threat, he's like, uh oh, I accidentally killed half the population of the universe. <laughs> I don't know. But Slowing scoop, I just killed yeah, three people. Yeah, right? <laughs> like, they're playing him real fucking hammy right now. And I'm like, am I being punked? What is happening? So I, I, I guess I'll see what happens with that character. But right now, he's just. I, 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 I don't know. <laughs> God. Anyway, I'm looking forward to that. Yeah. No. Let's continue with this. I honestly thought, I think I made Wu leave because I think Wu is into Naruto. <laughs> There's an item He'll here. He'll be back. He'll be back. Oh, an item. I also had something that I could kick over. Whoa. What? It's, it's, look, it's Skyrim. You right. Now, what is the, was it, uh, Elder Scrolls Blades or whatever it is? The mobile game? Elder Scrolls Blades? I never played that. No, you, you shouldn't. <laughs> okay. Oh, dear. oh, what the fuck? 
I was wondering if you were gonna move. Didn't know I could move. It's still a lie for me. Damn it. Hey, Shit. Son of a Get. What? What? Tune in next time for the box podcast for Shades Naruto takes. Yeah, you know, I feel like at this point, you know how some places like you you have a show and it's like a normal show and then like halfway through the show there's just like a five minute it's like it's time for the sports update with blue 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 or you yeah. know it's like it, it's time for the for the weird stand-up comedy for five minutes for, like just that crap yeah. it's like it's time for shay's naruto take we need a like a, a new segment button where it just plays that and you go into it and then we cut back yeah well, I did tweet about that stuff, right? Because, okay, so Jack Jacksepticeye is currently watching through Naruto. And he was behind me. And so I was ahead of him a little bit. And I was like, oh, Jack, you're going to you're gonna love the part where Naruto fights Tony the Tiger. And I fucking tweeted a picture of him fighting the tiger. I forget his name. He's so forgettable. It's such who cares. Um, and then he noomed ahead of me somehow. And I was like, what the fuck? How is he like... Does this guy just have no life? He's like so popular. I would think he would have to work on his content all the time and he would hardly have time to watch 40 million episodes to get to Shippuden. And then I realized he was just using a filler skipper. And honestly, the last three seasons of original Naruto is filler. Like I'm not even lying. Literally every episode of the last three seasons is filler because they were waiting for more yeah, to come yeah, out, yeah. I think for the manga or whatever. They were, they were just fucking running the clock down with shitter episodes. So I'm watching all these episodes where it's like, Naruto helps the postman. Naruto bonds with the guy who feeds him ramen. <laughs> My God. Yeah. I, uh, okay. a girl tried to get me into bleach once. Oh. I, nope. It's one piece that I can't do. I don't like the art style at all. Mm. And like, there's 50,000 episodes at this point. That's a gun. It is a gun. It's an assault rifle with a bayonet. You All right. Three, oh no, I, I don't know the exact episode I'm on. I do love bayonets. Is this real? Can I actually like melee with the bayonet? Let's find out. You just fired your Hey, ammo. Why would she shoulder check? Ma'am, there's a bayonet on the end of it. Look at her. What a moron. What? Why is it doing that? I don't know, there might be contextual stuff with it. She's using the bayonet, Jay. No, she wasn't. Wait, what is happening? Who knows they're decorating, I wonder. Oh, oh, what are you doing? Stop! Uh oh. Oh, you cheeky Why devil. Oh, wait, I have this. Oh, my God. Hey, thanks. You helped me. Me? Yeah. Thing. You shot me somehow. Okay. And it propelled me forward. Can I? Yeah, there we go. God, I have so many weapons now. Oh, I can't get that. I can't. Hold on. Got a slide, yeah. Or. Yeah, I got it. That's too much fire. That that one dude had like a red tint to him and I was like, is that a crimson head? All right, you did play that. More than a mile burn. Those flames will kill you yeah. in an instant. You gotta find a way around. Shooting your teammate Lily forward and that bit may help you when you run this against PB and Lily. Ah, uh, but that's shooting though. We're not allowed to do that. Over here. Over here. Hey, thanks. Hmm. 
I don't hear bad things. Oh, that's why. I don't know, but uh, I guess I'll crawl through the spiders here. Why did he have dynamite? Trigger warning for Leo. I'm not sure if I'm actually gonna bump into anything, but like there are webs. I guess not. I guess it's fine. What the hell? This guy is operating the mechanism to make fire. He's a zombie and he's just operating the mechanism. Capitalism, am I right? Hey, thanks. <laughs> I feel like, honestly, I would want this more zoomed out. Like, did increasing those numbers zoom it in or zoom it out? Zoomed it out. Really? Because yeah. I would I would want it a little more zoomed out than this. You want to... You want to... Nah. Okay. Especially not right now. I mean, we're early on. It's like I've been playing at default, right? So it's not it's not like ugh, what the hell? This is trash unplayable. It's, it's whatever. There's writing on this door. Where? Okay, yeah, there is. Kith and kin. Kith and kin. Wait, is there? Yes. Simmons family tree. I think you're right. Oh yeah. Now Kith. Probably just as rotten as he is. But what does it mean by evidence? Wait a minute. The ring Ada gave me. A ring? When did she give you a ring? When you were crying. Bingo. Thanks for the gift, Ada. I was gonna say, door opening slowly. Must be about to get attacked. That's a runner. You had it. I mean, this shotgun doesn't exactly do anything to them. Fair enough. Like, it doesn't make them go back. You can totally stab them with the bayonet, by the way. Oh? Contactable, then. Yes. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, my God! <laughs> Hey, what's up? Did you do that? Yep. These noises are disturbing to you? What's that? It's fine. All right, let's not fuck this up. I got this. What? I got this. I'll be after Get you. Him, what about this next one? Uh-oh. Are you dead? You're not even dead! Ow! Someone spat in my eye! I got oh. grabbed during a cutscene. Yeah. I'm glad I mashed that button because I was still taking damage. Fuck this game. Ow! No, that's fair. Ah, 
battle on that contextual. Hey, Darius. What the heck? Also, I mentioned earlier, but you aren't here yet. But uh, thank you for that tip for the uh, for the enhanced edition. Next time, I will have that up for next week. I really appreciate that. Oh, this guy's immune. What if I kneecap him? Bye. Veggie, thank you for being Malthus and Dungeon Switch Shepherd right in the face. Out of the way, Leon. I can't. <laughs> I think they just keep spawning. Let's go. Let's... No, we're good. I, I thought I heard oh, one more. Also, we're morons. What? Oh. Could adjust. Hmm. Are we allowing that in the run? I mean, on the one hand, it's fire, not melee. But on the other hand, we're using our hands to activate it. Like We'd use our hands to activate a gun. That doesn't work. <laughs> okay, well, it's object interaction. You interact with a gun, which okay, is an object. But, oh, you use your hands to interact with anything. Ugh, like, I, I don't know. I guess it'll come up if we want to allow it or not. That's why I'm asking. I guess not. You got to beat the shit out of them with your bare hands. All right. What the heck? Leo gifted a sub to Owl. Thanks, Leo. And thank you for hitting 42B in the face. <laughs> uh, they're not playing currently, uh, but we'll be doing... A melee only run as best we can for charity. Hey, a water level. I don't remember any of this, by the way. Oh, no? No, I haven't remembered anything past like halfway through the Chris campaign. Oh, great. But also, why are all the secondary companion characters left handed? Yeah, it's weird. He always wants to default me. Holy shit, look at this shimmy. <laughs> Guess I'll get eaten. Uh, Charity is uh, currently uh, to be determined. Yeah. Just once I'd like to find a place flooded with warm water, you know? I wouldn't want to step into warm water anywhere. This water is warm. Yeah, there's a bunch of condos above us, Leon. Nothing's wrong with lefties, Woo. It's just I'm not a lefty. Therefore, it, it just feels weird that it defaults to aiming to the left. Counterpoint. And I wish you could choose. Counterpoint. Everything's wrong with lefties. <laughs> Adapt. Why are you like this? Also, thank you. Hot Disgusting. Dog water. <laughs> Actually, thank you for hitting your draw right in the face as well. I I do believe Lefty is doing alright. You get a uh, a radio. I just could interact with something here a second ago. What was it? Yeah, he mentioned he had a radio play for, uh, what was it? War of the Worlds. Because he, ah, yes, yes. He did real well with the, uh, Dracula one. Mm. He left the Ohio thing. Had a, uh, really? Really? What? Fuck you. Won't let you stab it? No. I had a viewing of that. I was not able to. It was during the time we were doing um, Dragon's Breath. You mean War of the Worlds or Dracula? War of the Worlds. Oh, okay. I had a viewing of Dracula. We all we all piled in. A few of us watched it. Yeah, I was there for the, when they did it live for that. We did a, uh, a viewing over yeah. in Lefty's Neck of the Woods. I feel like there is something here that we missed, but I'm sure it's I would. Yep. Elena, take the high road. Can you imagine getting such air 
in water that's waist high. <laughs> I'm, in, I'm in danger. I hear some honking happening. Oh shit! That's me, actually. I thought that was gonna be attacking you, but someone just. I'm in. Someone is. I, I even saw it, and I couldn't do anything about it. I hate. Somebody's after me. Are you dead? I'm fine. No, I was talking to the creature. Hey, you're opening the thing. Keep hey, what's turning. up? It's working. Do hurry. Oh no. Helena! Yar! You good? Oh. Uh, no! A monstrous fish is after me! Yeah. Oh, I'm fine now. Leo. I know this is their way of being like, you're covered in water, Leo. but it looks like I'm covered okay? in, like, massage I'm oil. I'm way over here now. I'll cover ah. you as much as I can. Just keep moving forward. <laughs> It'll be alright. Uh-oh! I accidentally a grenade! Oh, that actually worked somehow. In the middle of water, I just lit a bunch of dudes on fire. Oh, okay. Yeah. So what am I doing here? Can I even get to you? I mean, yeah, I think so, if I let you in. Orc of War, thank you for the follow. Hello. Okay, Leon, go. Yeah, Leon, go get him. Leon, I can't get through. Oh, that's bad. No, nope, because I'm in a cutscene now. There's a monster. Uh, you are being attacked. Yeah, I know. And it, yeah, it was not good. I was gonna Keep say, me I was trying to I sniped the guy. Can you get through now? That that did save me. Yeah, I'm good. Oh, good. Oh. oh my god. Leon? <laughs> I didn't expect it to kill me. I expected it to do damage. What I mean, I guess I'll have spinning razors? Well, we've been hit by worse. Let's be real. Leon! Yeah, that's true. Helena. Oh, cool. I gotta fight okay? all these guys again. Oh, that sucks. But I'm way over here now. I'll cover you as much as I can. Just keep moving forward. I'm supposed to cover you. Oh, I see. Yeah, cover me, you dick. Uh oh, ow. Okay, what the fuck? What? What did I do? Thank you, Rock. This time. Oh, the machines. Okay, Leon, go. Leon, I can't get through. I Can would love, I would love, I would love to. Hold on, let me I check. I, that's a spike Leon. trap. Leon! Can you get through now? Yeah, I'm good. I don't know about this. What do you mean? Well, I feel like I'm gonna die. I'm not gonna be able to time this. No way we're getting to that. Oh, now Leo throw a bot. God damn you, snake! What? Nothing! Oh, you, you, you did it. This is your I fault. You. I hate you so much. Everything here is activated by cranks. God. So we Branding works, folks. Ah, Leo rolled the dice at Nat. Thank Thanks, you for Leo. hitting Igugu in the face. I appreciate okay, see, it. See, I don't think that I could have made that. You were supposed to deactivate that for me. Oh Correct. my God, I'm going to die. I'm gonna die. Oh dear. Did you considered oh, not dear. dying. I really wanted that snake to attack the zombie. Wait, did it? 
Nope. Guess what? There's no crank here. I'm gonna look for it. Look for it? There's no guarantee it's even in here. True. Well, what the hell else are we gonna do? Yeah, seriously. Uh, okay, I guess I'll just stand here doing nothing then. She's such a negative Nancy. That Helena. What, you, what is this and why am I up here? What? What's the point of me being up here? I wish I knew. Oh my god. What? Stop that. No. I could have been standing there. Yeah, <laughs> you could have. Oh, am I supposed to be, like, helping you, or...? I think so. Hey, activate the spike thing. Oh, okay. That, but, yeah, do it. Thank you. Uh, keep up that energy. And he's trying to snipe me. Oh, uh, you're buffering, Monty. I'm so sorry. All right, keep it up. Please. Excellent. Please hold. All right. I'm going to step into the, the area. Don't do it. Just tracking over bullshit. There that I can't get. Thank God, you thirsty bitch. I did. That whiff. One of those had to hit. What would be my gift in a sub metaphor? I don't know, I'd have to have a thing. Hold. Please, please. All right. That's me rolling down my car window every time I got a Taco Bell. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's only one Taco Bell on the entire island. Which is good. I mean, that's good for me. It's just every time I go to, like, a mall or something, or, like, like rarely that I go out somewhere shitty, I'm like, you know what? I'll pick up some shitty food. Like, I know it's shitty for me, and I know it's going to do shitty things. That's the Such appeal. A good kind of shitty. Yeah. yeah. Great. You gotta... Thanks for helping! I mean, I tried. He's wearing armor. It's very unfortunate. For you. Welcome back, stranger. Looks like we're finally making it out of here. What? Why would you say that? On, let's keep moving. Yeah, he has no idea. <laughs> <laughs> Fooled ya!
Who would even do that? Hope you like Tomb Raider. Do you, C7? Welcome to the center of the earth. Oh, I just... I just reminded myself that I needed to do something very quickly. Oh? I just have to put a, uh... A reminder in my calendar about an event from yesterday. One sec. Okay. Alrighty. Oh, he had an axe. <laughs> Nice, go! Okay. Hey, thanks for covering me. You got it. Anything over here? No. I guess I should be firing my... If you throw that axe at me, I will ruin your... Oh my god. Here he comes! Bonk. Oh no, he's got a helmet. You're dead. And these guys are really old. While he studied dysentery, I studied the blade. <laughs> oh no, there's another one. Go we'll get him. I mean, he's got to come to me. He's, he's, too, too, he's shooting at you. I'll get him. He's to your right and he's not in range. There's someone... Coming down, though. Well, I am, I am sniping a different zombie that I could see. Uh, let's see if I can deal with that. The zombie who lived. Never mind. Are, we, are you ready? What yeah, something's gonna happen, isn't it? Oh, hey, this guy came down. Oh, that was weird. What? You just, like, teleported. Who did it? Veggie, thank you for hitting Runtu in the face. You're up. Okay. Bomb. Like, why would you drop that after? That seems really useful. Maybe you should keep that as we go through. Parkour. See, I wish I could note all these down. I'll probably just do a thread for it later. And snakes like I'm 18, right? You've all been watching him for like seven years. <laughs> oh my god. Sorry. Oh wow, he fell. Yeah, he, he did. actually fell off the side. That was cool. Got me being 18 now would be the longest con. <laughs> voice changer you literally just disable it and you're like just one of those like obnoxious xbox kids oh no <laughs> Ow! Ah! 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 okay i'm fine do i have any i need healing uh nah i'll wait 
<laughs> the snake sounded like this even when he was a child. Goo goo. I am born, mother. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I'm told that when I was born and uh, the doctor held me, I didn't cry. I simply said I wish to do more violence. <laughs> I promise you, we're not going to let Simmons get away with all this. Good. Yeah, Snake's crying with a monotone wah. Yeah, you know how sometimes Snake goes, nah. You know that, nah. You know exactly the cadence he says it in. It's that, but wah. <laughs> when I say what? When you say nah. You say nah. N-A-H sometimes. Hmm. And you don't feel like doing something, or it's like, oh, if you tried this out, you'll go, nah. I see. It's kind of like you're, nah. but no, you, you've got a nah. But when you were a child, it was just, wah. I see. Ow, ow. Just couldn't let us go, huh? Yeah, that guy's dead. What is screaming? What? All right. This ear at the end, right? Just flop down. Oh, you. Oh, oh, Very good. Oh, I got him, though. You, it looks like you got got. He threw the lantern at me, but I was close enough to him that it hit him as well. So he got him. You're just a glory stealer. No, no, I like, I was doing a jump kick. So oh, it I see. Like I okay. It into him. Oh! Now that time I got gone. Well, that's embarrassing. I. You're gonna die because I can't get back there. Wait, seriously? That's so stupid. Help! Quick, use this. Use fade or something. I don't have one. Hey, you got up. Oh. Oh, I just. I, I thought that was a countdown to when yeah, I died. Yeah, so did I. When I get over not here. when I automatically got back up. I guess then the only way to get killed like that is if an enemy finishes you off? Yeah. The skill points that got away. Oh, fuck. <laughs> get fucked. You got a healer. Um, Look out. Um, I don't have a hell of a lot to heal with, so... It'll be alright. I don't know how you hit me with a shotgun, but you hit me with a shotgun. Oh. Me? It wasn't even a shotgun, it was a pistol, wasn't it? I was gonna say, I have a pistol out. But you hit me. Hey, Dante. Whoop! Oh, that's... Are you injured at all? I might as well. You cheeky. Let's ruin him. God, okay, he's so on. fast. Where, where is he? Oh, All the way down there, off. yeah. I don't see him, do you? I mean... He went that way. Okay, hold on. Ah! God damn it, hold I was on. aiming a sniper rifle! Uh-oh. Thanks. Behind me. Right! Really, Leon? Thanks. Thanks for that information. This is unsafe as hell, but fuck it. Wait. Get it. You're a hero. These skill points. I'm gonna put some dirt in your eye. Oh god. Wow. Wait, wait, wait! Oh. Were you about to jump kick him? Yeah. He was gonna explode. No, it would have been fine. Hmm. Uh, Left 4 Dead 2 thing has been rescheduled. It was supposed to be Tuesday, but someone had uh, other commitments. So we'll figure that out. 
Oh, there's a big chonky guy up there. That that's like a Dark Souls reminder. Hold on. Ow! Ow! It still hit me! Yes, I did. kicked him off! Oh my word. See the big chunky guy up there? Oh, God damn it. Oh, all right. Big chunky guy? Where? Across the way there. Like up, up the Oh, bridge. yeah, yeah. That, that, that reminds me of like a Dark Souls enemy that you yeah. can see before they, before they do anything to yeah. you. Do they just keep spawning? Maybe. Oh, he's got dynamite. It's probably to make you go over to this guy. We have... Oh, they have dynamite on them. Get out of there. What? Oh, holy shit! How come you didn't take any damage I, like that? I took damage. I just got grabbed as we got flashbanged. Well, what the hell? I, I, he took like four bars out of me. Now that's fine. You're just somehow up. Yeah, I'm fine. You ran forward as I shot the dynamite. It was very good. No, but like, you got caught in that first blast, and I, I lost like four bars and went down, and I nothing got, happened to you. I got grabbed, so I was getting bitten. I would have rather that. Probably deal with them. Oh no. I killed him, so he didn't do anything to the bridge. Let's leave. Are you already. Yep. Why can't I sprint across this rickety bridge? Uh, because I think, I think the big guy was gonna do something to it. But I killed him preemptively, so he just didn't. See, interface, thank you for 49 months. We are not alone. He has dynamite. Thank you. Okay. The hell am I going? Am I going this way? No, we just came from there. Which way am I going? This way? <gasps> Someone running really fast? I, I was rolling with the disadvantage. It's only for ability checks. And I only rolled one ability check that entire time, not skill. I rolled a bunch of skill checks, but... Uh, oh, behind you. Thank you. Bonk. Nah, I was keeping track of it. Ability checks are not skill checks in 5e. Ability checks are like dexterity checks. Or, uh, anything else. Skills checks are like they are things that have specific skills, like athletics. Nature, yeah. survival, athletics, etc. Those are very different. Yeah, I'm surprised for the track. You were calling for uh, nature instead of survival yeah. for tracking, but uh, but I assume that was just to like lean into the character strengths because I know some of us probably have nature and others probably have survival. I just blew the bridge we were on. Yeah, I'd like that, Nat. 
in, in my own community calendar because oh, you can add when you add an event you can add you can make it a colored dot so it'd be cool if like i just said like oh like green colored dot is birthdays and then people could add their stuff that'd be cool if they still counted as ability checks they wouldn't make the distinction between skill check and ability check and things like oh, oh, oh. yeah yeah i didn't see it i didn't see it wink wong Tony, thank you for hitting Protein Ninja right in the face. Behind us again. Why, why are you? See, when it says something like Wisdom Survival Check, it's telling you to make a survival check that uses Wisdom if you don't have, like, if you don't have Survival, Wisdom is the way to, to go with it, but they make the distinction. Oh, he's gonna jump. Never mind. Mm hmm But also, it's like, yeah, p p people, like, I still have to look up things when we play. Like, I, I don't, I don't know every single rule. And even, even when, even if I know a rule, sometimes it just slips your mind, right? Or you're like, ah, <laughs> oh, fuck, what did that use? Like, no problem with that. Skill checks are, yes, they are definitely supported by your ability scores. Add a modifier, and then you get you get your ability mod plus proficiency for skill checks. Yep, yep. Oh, he's coming. Nah, he's dying. Is he? It's so wobbly. There he goes. I'm not looking forward to meleeing that. Oh yeah, we're gonna have to run across the bridge and melee him. Wait, one of us be bait. Just... Hmm. What color do I want you to do the birthdays in? Um, I don't know what colors are there. <clears throat> But yeah, do they destroy the bridges? I have no idea. I hope not, because that's the only way to progress. <laughs> uh, let's just do the last one, guys. Uh, For birthdays, let's just back. do the like... What is that? Like turquoise or whatever the hell color it is? Just, just use the last dot. Bobby, yes, what's, thank you for 23 Deal. months. What's the worst two color combination? Oh God. Um, hmm. Like I'd say anything that like fucks with people's color blindness or like vision or whatever, like, right? Like, like, yeah, that's fair. Like a, like a teal and like a really shitty, uh, uh, what is it? Like an orange or something? Comic green and piss yellow. <laughs> Actually, just check the PHP in there. Ability checks. Then why do they distinguish uh, skills versus ability checks in the text for various feats and things? I respect that, Malthus. <laughs> the rules lawyer and me couldn't let it go. I respect that. Like, we're all just shooting the shit about it anyway. It's not like we're mid-game and we're slowing things down. Yeah. So. Is there a specific abilities and feats that clearly outline a difference between ability checks, skill checks, and there's one more uh, saving throws? That he usually says an ability check using particular skill. Okay, then that would make it a skill check, though. So it, like, they, there's always that distinction, though. Like they make, I don't know. It's it's so weird. What the heck? Actually, thank you for hitting Chili right in the face. What are you doing? Looking some of this up. I see. <laughs> That's like. Huh. 
You like skill checks or ability checks, but not all ability checks are also skill checks. I mean, that's that's true. Yeah, apparently skill check isn't a thing, isn't a term. <laughs> but it it is though. Hang on. Let's see. Oh, this would be great for another video. <laughs> Yet more misconceptions. Let me bring up the. Uh, There's no such part of the game as a skill check, despite that being a phrase commonly used by players of the game, due to prior editions having a skill check as part of the game. What am I thinking of? This is why the game text has sections such as using ability scores and using phrases such as make a wisdom bracket perception check. All roles to which being proficient in a skill would result in adding your proficiency bonus to our ability checks. Uh, oh, it is. So yeah. a character who has proficiency in the stealth skill is particularly good at dexterity checks related to sneaking and hiding. Makes sense. So I was doing it. I know what my uh, or where my confusion comes from. It's the way Arcaden was doing it. Yeah, it's, so it's it's not a perception skill check. It is a wisdom ability check. Bracket, uses perception, perception yeah. ability check. Mm. And it's it's probably because previous editions, like like third, where yeah. there's like skill checks. Yeah, that's exactly why. Yeah, it looks like it would be how you thought, Leo. We gotta do, we gotta do the uh, reverse Uno card where we're like, ah, I'm glad you know your shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm specifically uh, thinking of many instances in Arcadum's <laughs> thing where we would have to roll, uh, or like we would get disadvantage on skill checks or ability checks and we were told specifically that it was one or the other. And that's just the way he ruled it. And I'm pretty sure that's because of previous editions. Like mm -hmm. 3.5. I mean, a lot of DMs, and I mean players in general, just have that built into their system. Yeah. Like, like it's hard to play through different editions and keep it all straight in your head all the time. I, you see that? I mean, like Warhammer has that too, mm -hmm. and like pretty much every tactical anything game that has gone through many iterations. Because Warhammer's up to what, like eighth edition now? <laughs> I understand, Malthus. And I'm trying to think of what... Where did that come up? Bless was a big thing. Hold on, let me actually... Mm -hmm. Uh, Bless was it. Bless is what I'm thinking of. Bless 5e. Attack roller saving throw before the spell ends. So we were just doing that wrong. Just wholesale, we were doing that wrong. What, in Arcadums? Yeah, because there's no mention of skill check at, or even ability check in Bless, but we were adding it to uh, skill checks, not ability checks. So it'd just basically be all checks. Like ability, but also skill by virtue of like them just being ability checks. Yeah, but that it, call, it that call for a specific skill usage. It less doesn't target ability checks anyway. So it Oh I, it doesn't. No. It's just a guidance is for and skill. saves. Hold on. Let's look at that. 
Yeah, there was is attack rolls and saves, is it not? Yeah. Let's see. But yeah, I, I agree with Leo. Even if things are being done like wrong by raw, as long as it's your DM ruling, or as long as all the players are fine with it or on board with it, like you could be playing a rule wrong for years with a group and it, it's just what you all do. You know what I mean? And it's like, that's fine. If everyone's good with it. Huh. I guess it makes more sense though with, uh, with exhaustion. Because mm. I thought it was weird that it affected one and not the other, but I made a point to only, only roll it for the one ability check I rolled. And then I looked through exhaustion and saw that it didn't ever target that, so I was very confused. It didn't right. ever target skill checks. It just went past it. So yeah, it makes sense yeah. that would be everything. Yeah. And yeah, exactly, Leon. The first cardinal rule. You make your own damn rules. <laughs> They're just guidelines. Yes, yeah, it's one of like I when I say doing it wrong, I mean that we in, we misinterpreted the rule, not that we made a judgment call and decided to do it one way. We just mm. misunderstood it. I think if we did understand it as written, we would have gone with it. But we just didn't. Leon. What? Oh. Leon. I mean, I, I was wondering why you were crouched. I'm like, what? Do you, what stance? That stance. <laughs> How do you do that? <laughs> he even does a little fucking flip midair. Helena, get out of there! You have lots of enemies. Why did she fall over like that? Leon, I need your help. Leon, Garg! Shoot them! A better idea. Ow! I'm helping. Okay. Okay, let's... I'm going back through... And trying to think of all the instances where that would have come up and how stupid we were. <laughs> oh, that's a. Oh my god! Go down easy. Bad! Oh, he jumped at me! Where is he? Where is he? I'll work on Big Boy or try. Oh no. Oh, this is gonna suck. Okay, he fell over. Alright. Uh, you're back. Oh, is that dynamite? I'm reloading! I... God Thank you, Kabusi. For six to three months, getting there indeed. You appear to be alone. Thanks should help more. I agree, Nat. I don't think so. Walk it off. Oh, you have another one coming. Never mind. Hey, that's cool. So how are we doing this melee only? I get. I guess we have to shoot here. There's no way you're gonna be able to. Not. You have to shoot those zombies off me when I like run backward, like when I'm going. Even up the, the big pillar. boy on the bridge. I don't think you can get past him. Hey, we can try it, but. But here, yeah, I can. I can melee him. It was just we shot him. You can, like it, I don't. It, it would be mm. tough. It's going to be hard. We'll see how it goes with the bridge wobbling. I don't know if that'll. Do we, oh, another one coming. You, you can take care of it. Oh, God. Oh! I'm dead. Walk I'm it dead off. unless you kill him. I can't. I'm dead I don't have a shot. Kill him. Shoot him. Uh, I'm crawl. I. Oh yeah, right. I forgot. I could okay, well, he killed me as I remembered. <laughs> oh, we can. We can try it now. I think. 
Yeah, that's gonna bug me. What? The I'm just going back and thinking of all the times we got that specific ruling it's wrong. It's over now, Snake. It's over. It, no. It's fine. Everything's fine. It can still hurt me. All right. Good luck. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, so you've got to shoot here. Helena, get out of there! Because I don't, I don't think I can skitter up. Like, I think the whole point Hang is on. you can't. I need your help! Did that actually hurt you? Nope. Hey, okay, good. All right, you're up. Okay, let's see if I can do this. It doesn't matter what melee weapon I have in my hand, right? No. Okay. Enough already! Shut the hell up! Oh my god. Ugh. These guys never go down easy. Why don't I just leave? Oh no! What? Please! Please! Ah! Ah! <laughs> oh my no. god. Hey, grab those skill points for me. Run! Wait, wait, wait. No, don't shoot them. I I had a shot on dynamite and I, I had know, to take it. I know, but I'm trying to, I'm yeah, trying to like See try can... a melee run. I Thank you, Cage. Do, oh shit! I think we can just do this. Yeah. See? Okay. Yeah. No, you're you're not allowed to use guns here. This is doable. Very right. doable, in fact. Gotcha. But I really hope they uh, try and fight them. I thought this place through. Right. Which means there's gotta be a way out. <laughs> ah! Ah! <laughs> He's good. I was so close! Oh no, fatty comes! Oh, you gotta be fast! Oh no! Oh, this isn't gonna work. Like, it isn't gonna work this run, because someone's about- Yeah! <laughs> oh my god. Lead him back. Hide him back, then rinse or repeat. I, I can't. You can't jump over again. Oh, you can't. oh no. Then yeah, kick their ass. The other way. <sighs> I frames, go! But also, why isn't this guy dead yet? What? Sir, sir, please, please. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh! Melee! Honestly, the big chunky guy got stuck in the corner, so... Like, actually, he's stuck there. Anyway, this is absolutely doable, so... Melee only stands. Alright, except for the shooting, like, the crawling section. Yeah, like, when I'm crawling up the pillar, because otherwise, you just die. Oh god! Run! Hold on, I need to get this shit. Alright, we need to deal with that. Yeah. Oh! He had no head. Somehow this man is stuck. Just... Uh-oh. Yes, dynamite. I'm not yep. kicking him. Sure does. Take the shot. Move, move! Okay. Oh, you also have dynamite. Might be infinite. Let's leave. That is a nice boulder. We're gonna have to do this when the big guy is like rampaging around because it was lucky that it got stuck. Hopefully that's a trend. Does kicking them blow up the dynamite? Yes. Oh, does it? I mean, you've hit them and they've exploded before, so I assume so. Have I? I, I thought I, I thought I've only ever shot them. Could be wrong. Well, we can test that. Maybe it's like where you hit. Maybe. Because my, my, my running jump kick is pretty high up. Oh, shit. I'm in danger. 
that right there, buddy? No. I didn't even know you could, like, fall off of that. Yeah, I'm... I just happened to run at it at a terrible angle. Darn. Is the floor gonna fall out from beneath us here? Oh, shit. No, we're just gonna be attacked. Hurry! Help! Yeah. Oh, I let go. You suck! <laughs> Help! That's dynamite. Help! That's... Well, it worked out. God damn it. QT time, maybe? Maybe. No? Oh, no, you just teleported in later, nerd. Helena, run! Where's my knife? Big boy. Yup, there sure was. Oh, heck. Get, oh my god, Leon! How dare you! Oh, How dare me! Shit. I jumped over that! I like, yeah, you moved did. over that. Let's go! Perform stroke. Avoid drowning while looking for an exit. Manage to avoid drowning. <laughs> what? Swimming, swimming in my swimming pool. That's when days psycho. are hot, when days are cold. In my swimming pool. What? Press is stroke, that? side stroke, fancy diving too. Or don't you wish you ever had anything else to do? Okay, now do that. S sing that as if you were underwater. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Incredible. <laughs> I'm dead. Fuck, I did I did pretty good. Also, I'm drowning. I guess you drown. Yep, I got choked by a zombie. <laughs> Twice. Oh. oh, there was a packed... I didn't know that was there. There was a what? There was a patch of... Um, Air. Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. Stop choking me, please. Two kinds of people. Rock, that was pretty good. You okay, dude? Chili. Man, you didn't even make it 10 seconds. <laughs> I approve of both. No. Bonk. Okay, thanks. I feel like there was probably like an extra thing. Probably, we missed. but I also don't care. Is there yeah, a fuck this area? How do I? Oh. You oh. find it? Oh. I got it. I I'm at it. <clears throat> I legit have no memory of this. Not my lucky 
day. Just blank patches. Somebody go get grabbed! Helena! No! You surely have to pay extra get, to get choked like that. Oh no. Huh. Are you okay? I'm trying to survive the attack. I feel like I would be like eviscerated. Like, yeah. It's got really sharp teeth. Like, it wouldn't just grab me in its mouth. Like, I would have several sharp teeth sized holes in me. You're doing QTEs now. Yes. Shit. The whole time just holding our breath. Yep. How is there so much light down here? Oh, shit. He's holding it. <laughs> Where even am I? In a stomach. I was. How the fuck did you get up there? Oh, you Help, know, when it was coming down the waterfall, I, you know. Okay. But Find also, my quick up. time event was mash the A button and then rotate one of the, uh, one of the sticks. Yeah, that's those what were, I had. Th those were my events. Oh, really? Uh, oh, okay. So I had an A plus X button prompt, but I was uh, neither here nor there. Yeah, that's a good point, Jen. We did go really deep, really fast through all those caverns. Wouldn't our lungs just collapse? <laughs> Help. All right, hold on. Oh, but also... Elena, can you do something about these bars? I can try. Why can't you just squeeze through? There's a gap. Submerge yourself, Leon. No, there's not. They're not even blades. Just pull yourself through, you lazy. It's fine. It's fine. Look, yeah, he could have literally just submerged a foot. <laughs> I have not, Leon. Leon, get out of here! It's coming! See, it went through the gap. Hey, thanks. Thanks. So you have to shoot there. Yeah. Lena, I need some backup! Wait, I have to pull out the right weapon. Ah, ah. Thanks. That happened like immediately, one after the other. Bog, bog. What do you mean? I can't see it from here. I can't see it. Oh, you're dead. That was the rudest shit I've ever seen. God. <laughs> like, so I, I got. I guess I have to. Is it dependent on how far you swim forward? Because it was like, go, go, go. And I'm like, I, I don't even have an angle on it. Like, I guess. Leo, get out of here. It's coming. Shit. Thanks. All right, next one, two. Lena, I need some backup. Thanks. All right, third one. I think I have to be over here. I'm gonna get grabbed by a zombie, probably. 
Yep. And now the thing comes. And then I got staggered. Okay. I got it. If you're not there, I just die. Because I get yeah. staggered. Yeah, and I have to shoot. <clears throat> Is there anything up there? Or is that the way to go? Uh, there's, I mean, yeah, there's stuff up there. Like that, there's probably a couple of, unless they've dissipated already. Hey, skill points. against the railing. Where are we? Leon can't fit through the bars, but Megalodon can. <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah, sure! Oh, that was an explosive barrel. that entire thing. Yeah. So is it, is it dead or... I thought they were still in the underground cavern. I was like, uh... Just a jet. Yeah, 2B's got a good point. How are we still on the surface? Like, how is this? He's sterilizing the area. And destroying the evidence. How could he? How does any of this still work? Thank God you're still alive. Where's Simmons? <laughs> After speaking with you, he left. In a hurry. Shit. I mean, the water stuff makes it. Like, we have waterproof phones. Leaving, he was talking to someone on the yeah, phone. I guess. Have a cracked screen, though. Yeah. Anyway, we can find out where he went. Don't worry. I've got a tail on him. He's on his way to the airport right now, where his private jet is preparing to leave for China. China? Yes. Take a look at these. Also, I have waterproof hair. <laughs> Another bioterrorism attack. The BSAA confirmed it was the same one used in Eastern Europe six months ago called the C virus. C virus? We saw cocoons just like that here. We need to stop Simmons and take him into custody right away. We have no evidence. And right now, you two are on the top of their list of suspects. No. Listen, hey, Aquilas. Where's any of the circuitry in those phones? Don't worry about it. Don't think that hard. What? Of course. But they'll figure it out eventually. What are you going to do? We're going to China. Ah, you're back. 
with the Atza. seems to be the big killer of, of rank. Yeah. Thank you for seven months, ISRE6 Leon's big adventure. Yeah. Did you want me to uh, go back so you can change your FOV stuff? It's not a huge deal, and it's it's like I, I might not like the result, so I'm I'm good with this. Right. Oops. Death Road to Canada. I'd like to play that game one time. I want to play Arizona Sunshine. One of these days I will. Death Road's cool. Great with a friend. Well, I got one. Wait, did you do you have that? Did you pick it up? Death Road to I, I remember. I remember you suggesting it. I don't know if I grabbed it. Okay. And it, it'll be on a sale at some point. Mm. Whatever Steam sale, I'm sure. It's old enough. We just entered Chinese airspace. Good. How you holding All of those, like, Belts and harnesses and stuff would be so Maybe suspicious. Yeah. You could have cleared your name. Maybe. But it wouldn't have stopped Simmons. Besides, you start to grow me a little bit. Oh, Death Road has a remote play. Okay, we could try that then. <laughs> also, that is. That's that's a public airplane, right? Because that was spacious as hell. Elena. Also, am I to understand that the only thing between the cockpit and everyone else in the public was a do not enter sign? I thought this was a private jet. That was like a light suggestion. A, black, black plane, do you? a private jet. There was people plane, freaking I mean, out downstairs, right? Maybe. Are they is it like semi private that oh hello we have a problem a big one the we melee this into the same kind of well, we have the hey, gun what oh i have a magnum now oh, all right oh, hold yeah. on i'm looking something up but we got to melee it oh god oh i'm dead oh, never mind Oh, that does damage to me each time I do it. Actually, thanks for hitting Leon in the face. Oh no. Why are you able to... I think this is doable in melee. It is. We've done it before. Oh, have you? No, as in we fought with this thing. No, before. no, I know. I just mean in the confined area. No. I have not done that before, but it's all we got to do is stab it a bunch. Yeah, hold on. I'm shooting it because I want to get some magnum ammo. No, no! Oh. Damn it. Get some magnum ammo. What the heck? Yeah, there's ammo on the desk here. Oh, so there is. Eggy, you've been throwing many of them out. Thanks for hitting Firefly in the face. You would not believe your eyes. And Aldrich, right in the face. It crawled into the plane vents. How big is the damn plane? Yeah, right? Oh, we can go behind here to, like, juke it out for the melee. This is true. Leon, Helena, do you 
read me. There's something wrong with the pressure bulkhead. Get to the tail of the plane. Find out what's wrong. How, how do you know that? Yeah, how is she linked into any of that, first of all? Second of all, is this just kind of on autopilot? Because, like, we would not have time to go and do all that. We would be descending rapidly. <laughs> yeah, see, look at this man. He's just dying over here, like... See, like I didn't think this was private because like look Get at them. maybe like semi-private like it looks all fancy people certainly have a shitload of space on this plane yeah this has to be a private plane of some kind just for like millionaires or something or government or something government or something like but people who don't have like an actual private jet with yeah. just them <laughs> What am I gonna throw away? I uh, throw away these 10 gauge shells. I hate them. Ow. No, that's fine. I'll just fall over. I mean, we are government. So if it's a government plane, yeah. then that's Al. Like what's her name probably helped us. But this is a lot of people for a government plane. A lot of people in government. Like if this keeps going, I mean, I guess, but what are the chances they're all just flying to the same spot? I mean, China's kind of, I got nothing. <laughs> yes, this would have to be a government something. Like this is an office on the plane. Yeah. The greener, uh, what am I getting rid of? I'm getting rid of four incendiary. I very much assumed that there would be a medallion in that little closet, but there was not. The fact that we're just, they put us in a scenario where there was no repercussions for firing blindly on a plane. <laughs> yeah, it'd be cool if they like force this to be a melee only run. Also, yeah. This is now like a second level. Like we're going, oh, there it is. Oh. Ah, yes, one green herb, please. I should have saved mine, damn it. Is there a red herb? No, but I, I had one already. So there was like three greens basically. Oh, I gotta change my battery. There's also, this isn't time. There's no repercussions for just dinking around on the plane. Yeah. The stumbling animation is my favorite. How dare you. Hey. Those international flight laws of group of firearms. Are, well, there are laws of semi-private, somewhat private government plane. <laughs> there are also laws that prohibit the use of bio weapons, but we're also playing a Resident Evil game, so. Also, we we have literally like a walking armory amount of firearms on our person. <laughs> yeah, we are more gun than people. <laughs> I wonder if... Yes, I'm thinking the same thing. Huh. Does that... I'm sure that yeah. won't come up later. That sure does hurt. I just did the last one by myself, but I guess I need your help for this one. What did that do? You made it in time. Uh oh, okay. Okay, but still nobody's flying it though. Yargle bargle! Shit, it's licking that same gas. We have to get rid of it. We need to open the hatch. Okay. 
How do we do that? I got it. Little help, Leon. Maybe do something. There you go. Uh oh. Thank you. It's fine. I'll take care of everything. Okay, hey, thanks. God damn it. I knew I was opening the hatch. Why am I falling like a moron? Why does Leon get to be the one that saves me? I opened it. Shit. It's like we're playing quap. Oh no. I got an axe. Yeah, I saw what? you roll. I saw you roll. That was stupid. The phones are from the year 3000. The door controls are from the 1920s. <laughs> Um, okay. That totally hit my leg. Uh huh. Yard. Oh yeah, help me, Leon. No, I didn't just do like ninety percent of that. What was I? No. Writers. Okay. No, like, the plane's I, gaining altitude. I ripped Get to off the, the hatch, kicked the monster when it was fighting you, and then opened the hatch, full well knowing that I was opening it. And she's like, ah, damsel in distress, grab me, Leon, help me get back up into the plane. Like, fuck off. You right. Also, It'd first aid here. Grab okay, the first aid. What? Where? I'll show you. Great. Drop a pestilence bomb of a zombie onto a heavily populated area. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we kind of just did. I mean, we can't. What are we supposed to do? Oh, the thing's there again. Oh, okay. we died. Oh, yeah. You're right. I'm going to get an F rank. Oh, <laughs> uh, hell. Maybe we should go and open that hatch again. Yeah, right? Ow, ow. Okay, thank you. Oh, no. How come we didn't get infected? We're the protagonists. Okay, so there's not, like, an actual, like, oh, no, Leon and her, like, went, like, took a vaccine or are immune or it's just literally fuck everyone else. But, oh, my God, Noah. Noah is a hero. <laughs> Holy shit! No way! I don't believe it! I have to stop what I was what? doing there! And Jesus Christ, Noah, thank you for the... 10,000 bits. Time to... Shit, this crap. community gets me through it. Thank you for being you. Thank you for being you, chat. Got a new job. Excellent. Congratulations on your new job. Got a new job with a raise. That's awesome. That's You're far ass, too kind. Noah. Congratulations. Also, I was going to say like, oh, I should I should do a special thing with my lights for when that gift sub happens. But I'm now realizing that I do have a, a, a sub thing, like the lights go crazy and it just goes one after the other. Yep. So those lights will be going off for the next few minutes or so. It's a rave. Yeah. But Noah, yeah, thanks. Uh, you gave 10 off to to be determined, copy, voice, Violet Timber, Bulwark, Gamer Darius, Arangisa, Amako, Letty, and Sean. <laughs> no, I'm really happy for you though. Congratulations on the new job. With Raze. You're doing it, Noah. Safe. What's that like? Was it a new field, or it, it, like same field you were in, and you just got a raise for it, or did you kill your predecessor? <laughs> Tell us more. You know what? Fuck this guy in particular. Okay, never mind. No, no, fuck this guy in particular. Did you just magnum him? Yes. Are you are you proud of the fact that you magnum him? Yes. Would you say it's your 
Yo, I will kill you. <laughs> You'll help me. Ha <laughs> ha, you love me. <laughs> NATO rounds. What am I going to do? Do I want the NATO rounds? I kind of want the NATO rounds, although... Mm. I really don't know what I should. Stop now. I get rid of the remote bombs. I would like to. Can I not? I can't get rid of the remote Can bombs. Can I run? Can I run? No, I can't run. Oh, don't bomb me with that. How dare you. He had a head a second ago. Ah, help! Like, I know they probably couldn't have made it too engaging if it was a normal plane. But I, one of these days, I want a game to include, like, a normal, like, a realistic style plane. Where, uh, something where like this. Where it's just, like, literally the cockpit and then just tight squeeze all yeah. the way to the back. Yeah. Where there's, like, a cart with, like, two pots of coffee and that's it. Yeah. <laughs> Ma'am. Ah, help me, I'm gonna read Noah's thing. Noah switch companies, going from being a contractor to being a salary employee. 401k, health, vision, dental insurance, bonuses, paid time off, parental leave, technical training, mentorship program. Finally made it. Hell yeah, buddy. I'm gonna give you a clap. Yeah, you. A real clap. I'm gonna give That's you awesome. some hogs. <laughs> This is why I can never sleep on planes. <laughs> I will kill you. <laughs> Hello? Like, everybody on this plane is dead. Literally everybody. And he felt the need to make that joke. It's Leon. Stop! Stop going around the corner with the... There you go. Hey, 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 wait. Come, come back. What? Hey, you right. Oh, fuck. Table is looking shifty. We have a visitor. Sir, you belong in coach. This is first class. Sir. Oh, my God. Okay, cool. He's disgusting. I he coming for a minute. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, that's fine. My Guess back. All, all the way down the stairs. Yeah. Jesus Christ, how much worse can this get? When you open the hatch, you destabilize the plane by letting the pressure out. Leon, you're gonna need to take the controls. I was afraid you were gonna say that. Does he know how to? Nope. Fine, I'll fine. You do something about the So it's First, like an air traffic controller. Control. Oh, then okay, cool. This is actually realistic. In the fourth row of the upper panel. This is 100% realistic. That work? Well, this this part, anyway. <laughs> Mythbusters did this. Okay, now pull the lever on the right-hand side. Okay. This is harder than it looks. Come on. Pull up. I don't think the game gave him the option for me to do it. Nah, yeah, I just had to do it. Leon, pull Ow. Up. Pull Fuck. Up. How many oh, levers does it take to fly this thing? Where the fuck's the throttle? I had to reload. Are you okay? Yeah, I just got hit in the back of the head. Zombie. Are you okay now? No. Fuck. Oh, like you can't do anything. No. I have to, okay. Oh my god. Was that supposed to, okay. No. <laughs> no, it wasn't. <laughs> I didn't do that. 
Yeah, can you do this? Here, let me let me reload my weapons first. Does now, it give I you that? Just, okay. Now it just picks Leon. You good? In game. Ah uh, no. Now we're good. What do I mean? Is that supposed to happen? I mean, I thought it might have been one of those like kind of horrific crash over the water, but still somehow our hero is alive. Like how we survived that car crash that we had no business surviving. Okay, now pull the lever on the right hand side. Okay. I mean, typical snake driving skills. I happen to be a decent driver in games. Usually. Mostly. Probably. Leon, pull the throttle! Pull up! How many pull levers up, does it take Leon. to fly this thing? Come on. Almost there. Reload! Oh, I didn't have any bullets. I guess we're fine. Can you imagine seeing her? Did he see her? Yes. That's stupid. See? See? This is just about as ridiculous. What do you mean? Did you survive that, Jay? Well, I don't know. How the hell are we surviving that? Another happy landing indeed. Yeah, we weren't wearing seat belts. We would have broken necks. Now, look, all the guns we're wearing protected us. <laughs> Leon? Yeah, no, we'll just walk away. Sherry, what are you doing here? I'm on protective detail. Yeah. I heard you became an agent. Why are you here? I'm tracking the man behind all this. Chief Security Advisor Simmons. What? Th there must be some sort of mistake. I report to Simmons. He's your supervisor? We're on our way to meet with him right now. Where is he? Gary, you need to tase that man. I need to know. Uh, Jake! Let me handle this. I thought your orders were to avoid contact with anyone. Leon's not just anyone. He saved my life back in Raccoon City. Fair enough. Does he just have like a bunch of... What are those little white beads on him? Nodules on that man. Are they supposed to be sweat? Because they do not look like sweat. Used to it. They look like little pustules or like crippling acne. Got it. Oh, sorry, you oh, fuck. Snake or you no. no comment. I, I, oh. I was trying to see it. I didn't see it, admittedly. Yeah, get stabbed, nerd. This this guy will be fun to melee. No, get back here. We're not okay. Maybe yeah, that's fine. I take it from us. This guy is indestructible. Get the hell out of here. Why do you leave? Yeah. Hey, thanks. You're welcome. Anything up there? Uh, yes, yeah, some shit to grab. 
Oh yeah, all those 10 gauge shells I don't care about. Oops. Ow. I wish I liked the shotgun more. get rid of he sweats cocaine that'd be one hell of a superpower well they were back in the sewers they were looking for crank right i guess mission a box hug emote i will uh see if milky has any um slots open Actually wanted to uh I had talked to you about that before. Hmm. I just haven't milky do some stuff for me. Ah. Get a box suplex emote. What would that even look like? I'm not opposed, but you can you can slide into an edge to hop down faster. That's useful. How do we get up there? Or there for Where? that matter. All those two places there? Yeah. Maybe... Where was that box that we slid down? Right here. Oh, just kind of... He yeah. just kind of broke open. The box champ, but it's... What am I hearing? Do you see this? What? In between these two... I guess it's client side. There's a cardboard box glitching out between these two shipping containers. Oh, just going like... It's pretty much, yeah. Yeah, that's client side, unfortunately. Yeah. Wait. So, uh... What did you do? I, I don't know, I shot some... That's a thing I did. It exploded a bunch. I don't know what the point of that was. Is that a medallion? Hold, hold on. It's not a sign. Um, I never went for snake as a thing. Like it honestly never even occurred to me. It's probably gone now. I can maybe try it, but I think that's all we can do over here. Bravo, Shay. Yeah, it was a big boom for no reason. I, I assume that guy comes back and we can use that to fight him, but... Or maybe we could have used it to fight him initially there. Roger. I know what I'm doing. Oh, I remember. To wrap the city. This is a walk in the park, right? Oh, yeah. See, we could. Ow. I don't know. We could have used it to fight it now, I guess. But we can't. We get this thing running. We can break that wall down. We did it. We're also about thank you for nine months. How are you doing? doing over there? Oh, you know. I think I can 
fix this. Sherry, get behind the wheel. I, I really want to know how people in media just happen to fix cars. What? Okay, let's move. Roger! Like they just fuck around under the hood of a car and manage to fix it somehow. Just, yeah, on the spot. Yeah. Ow, you kicked me. Knock, knock, open up the door, it's Sherry. So the question about how I got this name, I just asked for it. That's really it. They mentioned the thing about freeing up names that were not in use but taken. And the second I saw that, I reached out and was like, hey, so... And they're like, yeah, sure, why not? One, I wish they would do that again. Because it's been a long time. And two... Even if they did, I'm not sure that would even work a second time. Like, even for you. Could be. What do you mean, like, just asking? Well, did you did you ask through Pluto, or did you ask through, like, submit a ticket? Uh, I think I asked through Pluto. Yeah. They, they seem to lately do, yeah, do that whole everything goes through a gauntlet sort of thing, right? Mm -hmm. But yeah, I, I've been waiting on uh, an account for, well, at least as long as I've been doing this, obviously. And I think it was a little before that that you got yours, isn't it? Uh... I don't know when you switched over. I can't remember. 2017, I think. I forget. Okay. Yeah, so it's been at least three years since they've done it. Sherry said she was meeting Simmons in the Kuhn Lung building. The first thing you're going to need to do is cut through the outdoor market up ahead. Cage, can you do a full reset? I've had to do that once with Discord. Discord often is fucky for me. Like when I'm on a, when when Leo is streaming something to me, I cannot voice with him for reasons unknown. Oh, that's what got you on the problem in the first place? Okay, gotcha. Yeah. I, I just know that for mine, I had to way down at the bottom where it's like, nuke everything. I had to do that. 
And then there's also options around, uh, what is it, like what codex to use or what like experimental bling -a blue, whatever they call it. I don't know what they call the option, but I've had to screw with those before too. Discord is a mess. Yeah. So thank you, Yenry, for 20 months. Welcome back. He plays Zelda, you know what happens. I mean, I don't know, it just seems cruel. Oops. Missed. There we go. They're still alive on my end. Are they actually? Yes. So it's it's client side. Yes. The state so. of these chickens being alive is client side. That is so dark. That's the fruit. We're in China. Okay, some of these are in China. Okay, good. Thank you, fruit. Mango. Good thing C7's not here. Why is that? Was that? Oh, he'd probably just be very upset again. Trouble. Why is that? Like, as we lot walk through and there's just like chickens oh. everywhere, everything's a butchery, you know, like. Yeah. Nobody sells anything but like mandarins. Yeah. And, like... <laughs> hey. What was that? Emblem. What was that? I was able to do something there. Hold on. Aha! Did that work? Bonk? No, however. Bonk? Sometimes the shotgun has worked for me. Mm. What about the I bayonet? Guess because of the way that it like sweeps. I really wish we could stab things uh, without it being a prompt with a bayonet. Yeah. Is this the way to actually go? No, I no. don't think so. Secret. Tunnel. Green herb. What can I drop? Uh, I don't know if I have anything Wait, that I can Green drop. herb? Where? In the crate that you broke. Oh, it's NATO ammo for me. I don't want to drop these shotgun shells, but I need the need the health. Not really using the shotgun anyway. Yeah, that is just Tostitos. You're right. Okay, but no, come come back here. Huh? That's how just, we could just like slide it yeah yeah how we could just like place our hands through the top yeah. and pull up yeah <laughs> no no you don't understand complex mechanism we need to unlock it from the other side no we don't we can unlock it from this side no we can't it's too hard Oh, I can inspect that too. You need to unlock it from the other side. And say the exact same thing. Well, I thought it might be different. The bolts on the other side. And thanks, Leon. Oh, great. Three separate locks. Jesus. Who has a door right. like this? Let's just figure out a way to open it. What the fuck? Dabbered pig's head. Mm. Guess that's why the whole street is on lockdown. The residents are trying to keep it out. Well, this one is different. Well, that's a new trick. I 
dare you. Alright. There's a green herb there and I want it. This isn't working. How long are we gonna keep doing this? Till I get the green herb. I have, I stabbed it, it's fine. Uh what? I mean it dropped it for me. Oh. Damn it, what There's can I drop? Experience for me. Never mind. How did he pull up the location of all of those keys by like blipping on his phone? That makes what? Oh uh, yeah, what's the Google lens or whatever it is? <laughs> Wait, are these fish still alive? What the Not anymore. Where'd you go? What are you doing in there? Hey, red herb. Red herb, fuck. So I'll be bait while you We're gonna have to trade places in a second. Crap. Which of my cats is the chattiest? Probably Edward. He won't stop chirping. Where is it? Oh there he is. You're up. Good, because I need to shoot this thing twenty times. Excuse me, pardon me. Excuse me. Okay, great. Now I can perfect. Excellent. Okay. I'm ready to rumble. Oh no. Wait, no, it's fine. Is it fine? Yeah, I guess. Wow, Did you that, just... is some, that is a strong aquarium. I would like to Spilled buy one aquarium, tough. please. But why? In a bit rock. What's for dinner, rock? You know the drill. Oh, I thought oh, yeah. that was telling me I could kick open the microwave. <laughs> I'm like, all right. in here going here? I don't know. Must be going this way or what? Uh, that's just where we started. How do how do you swing around to the other side? What? How do I gunky boy? Gone, Woo. All right. Bonk. Set. Can I? Close the store now.
Okay, I guess we won't go that way for a minute. getting more 10 gauge shells see I've, I've found that gun to be only useful if you aim for the head I messed around with yeah. it when doing the FOV test oh come here uh, I need you up here actually oh what no it was around bloody uh, you might be hanging out in snakes for now but <laughs> You betrayed me. Ow. Ow. Hey, thanks. Oh no. You're a catch. Uh, guess I just won't go get my XP. such awful noises. Yeah. Okay, I figured it out. Oh? Wow. Like, I'm just... Oh, this is a large amount of XP. Can you get over here somehow? Uh... Like five if you open the door... You have to here. open it from your side. You have to come down and open the door. But, I, but you're right below me. Head down here, I guess. Where are you? Right here. Okay. Hold on. I'll open. Come on. Worst time for a cutscene. Can I please? No. No, you cannot. I would very much like to, though. Oh, yeah. Just some bubbling soup. Where is the XP that you mentioned? Uh, there's an elevator, or an elevator. There's a ladder up over here. Go up the ladder here. There should be a chest that I've opened. Hmm. Around the corner. Hey, green herb. Right. Bonk. Oh dear. another one. What the hell? Oh, oh. I know another hand. Where are you going? Specifically the stab. Yeah. Which is hard to execute because it's back and stab simultaneously. How's it going, Corvus? Anything else? Not that I'm aware of, but 
Okay. Hand. Oh, hand. Yeah. Oh, sh ah. mother. Come here. That was uh, well timed, though. You did kick it. Yeah, the monster runner. Uh, I have not seen it, but I need to. It did come out already. Yeah, I remember <laughs> Mal wanting to. Oh, we need to do this together. I have no interest in watching that at all. I am only. I, it's a morbid curiosity. Ah, uh, you're back. Who did it? Duke, thank you for 35 months. Got a brisket sandwich. I'm well enough. I heard the uh, War of the Worlds went well. Leon, 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 Le Leon, Leon, Leon. Thanks. Oh, did it go well? Oh, I'm dead. Oh no, okay. He's just put me back. Oh no, I'm dead. Oh, Jesus. Oh, gory as hell. Oh my god. That was one of the goriest things I've seen in Resident Evil. Well. That was... Do I have to shoot it? I don't... Wow. No, I had a quick time event that I missed was the other thing, but I don't know. If, I don't know if you can... Yeah, Leon just didn't give a shit. Do it again. Yenry, what the hell? <laughs> Here, you go. You go. Oh, it really is whoever goes. All right, have fun. Okay. I, I want you to fail, though. I didn't. Oh. Almost did. Looks all clear now. Let's hurry. We don't want to miss it. Look, she just stood there. Looks all clear now. Actually, while it is clear, I will be. Wait, where, what? Wait, come here. What? It made it made snossages out of that thing. Oh hey, delicious. I'll be right back. They're pulsating. <laughs> when I dare, dare you to stick a finger in there.
Yes, Chili. Oh, I know, Chili. Great screenshot. I was going to have to do a snapshot because, you know, you typically have your headset on. So I was convinced you would come back and wait there for a minute, fully back, and then try and, like, do some crazy roll or some shit. But that was great. I'm very displeased. How how injured are you? Yo, right. You're green. You're fine. What did you grab? A grape carbonated beverage. Oh, grape drank. Hell yeah. But also, yes, I would like a clip of that. The timing was too good. I cannot say that I am pleased. I do not have any frozen drinks, although that would be an interesting experiment. Big boy gonna come back? Oh, okay. Ada. Always literally one step oh. ahead. Get some answers. Nah. I have a gun. Ow. No medallion or anything in here. Are there infinite ammo perks for this? Like, in game without a trainer? Like how you can get uh, infinite ammo stuff with RE5. Uh, 
glad you could stop in. Like what I've done with the place. Uh -huh. you enjoy your stay. <laughs> oh, fuck. Good job, Snake. I don't have time for your games. Fuck. Can I? Oh, okay. Is instant karma. I got to it first. I forgot that the last one you had to. We don't have time to wait. We'll take the stairs. Frozen cups. Tell me more. Huh? I'd love a cup that would freeze a beverage. That I, I think those exist too. Can like anyone freeze attest? It solid, or you just mean like? Chill it to the point of frostiness. Oh, okay. So like a slushy. Were... Oh, like a slushy? Then never mind. I was gonna say we had cups that had like the thing in them that you would just <clears> throw in the freezer and it would it would freeze it. It wasn't. I don't think it was filled with water. It was like a silicone gel or something, right? And it was like built into the cup, and you just toss it in the freezer, and so it would all freeze and get super frosty. And then so anything you poured in it, it would keep it cold for you. <clears throat> But I don't know anything that puts it into, like, slushy form. Yeah, I would, uh... If someone can attest to the quality of those things and also recommend me one, I would appreciate it. Because I miss those kinds of drinks. Yeah, slushies are good. Thank you again, Jin. Is it... I gotta know, is it... Gin gear, like how it's spelled, or is it ginger, like like ginger, but with a twist? I've been saying gin gear. It is gin gear. Okay, the first, like how it's spelled. Okay, good, good. Yeah, because that's 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 what I wanted to say too, and I was like, oh, yeah, maybe not. I, I want that fade. Um, guess I'll drop this. Could use a blender. Well, that requires much more work, ice, and cleaning than I'd like. <laughs> Why did the bulwark? Why are you like this? Wait, say it the first way. Okay, gotcha. I have two first aid sprays. Wow. What is this room? I don't know. And I don't like the look of it. Oh, now I could discard the remote bombs. Why couldn't I before? The I, I can only imagine that this is familiar to you. And yeah, this is the other it's campaign. Locked. Engaging lock, testing for prototypes. Tell me more, Ninja Swiffer. Hear about the man who wore a snake around his neck? He had a boa tie. You deserve that. That was that wasn't me. That All right, but you read it. These are literally perfectly timed. Every time I stand up, they hit me. Leon, Helena, come in. I'm trying to get the lock open for you, but the security's pretty tight. I'll keep trying to hack it, but see if you can bypass it manually. Did you see them from the other side when we were doing the other campaign? I don't think we could see them. Because we can see them now. Yeah. Oh, I thought I was fine. Security breach detected. Oh, no. I'll try to get past the security. You take care of our little friend. Got it, at least. Security breach detected in room zero. Look one for the team. Security breach detected in room one. Security breach detected in room one. Security breach detected in room zero. Security breach detected in room zero. Security breach detected in room one. 
Disengaging locks in room one. Good kill. Someone doesn't want us to catch Ada. She might not be working alone. What the hell? Ow. How rude. She always been like this? Ada! What the hell kind of way of running was that? Yeah. Don't lose you her. see her arms swinging around? Yeah. I won't! We are synchronized. There she is. Cut her off. $15. Her. Five hours. Hmm. No. Also, they were firing at her the whole time, and then they get her like this, and he, they just don't. Witness, we need her. A witness? She's the one who did all this! No, it wasn't her. It was Simmons, the national security advisor. I lost all my men because of her! And I lost over 70,000 people, including the president, because of Simmons. My misery trumps your misery! She's working for Neo Umbrella. You know what that means? Yeah, I do. And you're still going to protect this woman? I oh, am. Yeah. Captain! Where was she even hiding that? But also, so have Chris and Leon been through a lot together? Not really. Freeze! Like, yeah, like what? Damn it! What incentive did Chris have for not just looking at Leon and being like, you know what that means and you're still gonna protect her? We both want the same thing. Oh, all right. Bang. They know what each other's about, but they haven't exactly worked together. The SAA will handle Ada. You take care of Simmons. Butter grenades and not special tampons. Oh. Wait, what? Butter grenades and not special tampons. Oh dear. Are you sure we can rely on him? He's been in this as long as I have. I trust him. All right. Come on. Let's find Simmons. I guess I'll stretch. I would like first aid spray. Thank you. I did 
did it. Also, I guess I'll hydrate. Have against Dave. Stop trying to kill him. Dave didn't hurt anybody that you know of. Oh, that's Magnum ammo. I do like Magnum ammo. Too bad it's not there for me. Eh. Are you really sure you're okay with this? Target is Simmons. Always has been. You don't regret not following her, do you? We'll have to worry about Ada later. Right now, we need to focus on Simmons. All right. Let's go get this son of a bitch. Safe. Okay, thanks for showing us that building. is unexpected. No, wait! Ah, oh, Agent Birkin, impeccable timing. Kindly take these two into custody, won't you? They said you were involved in the terrorist attack. Is it true? What? Are they running down the street, screaming it to anyone who'll listen? Answer me! It's for the benefit of the United States and global security. You can't see how killing the president is good for the country! President's dead? Well, we have Leon to thank for that. God damn you, Simmons! Dispose of them. No, they would not have time. Yeah, they would just be dead. Also, they are terrible shots, apparently. I mean, they're using Uzis. You are still of use to mm. us. You need to be more careful. All right, all right. So what's the plan, hero? You think you can make it to that door? Why don't we just waste them? Because I need you to take care of Sherry. Can we wrap this up? I do have better but things to do. What are you two going to do? Finish Simmons. Why don't we just waste them? Because I need you to There's take care of Sherry. But but eliminating the. Simmons okay. Wants it. Thanks. I'll put a call into FOS. Get you some protection. Now move. <laughs> <laughs> Alert the men outside. She got me. Well, late. Like they're playing a fucking chess map. Match and he's not just gonna become a Uka Booga in a second.
Take it easy, Amako. Have a good night, Amako. Get back here! We can't let him escape. We won't. <laughs> We're ending this now. I thought we were gonna be like on top of the train. Uh, or jumping car to car, you, like Simmons. outside. Why is there ammo here? Time to pay for everything <laughs> you've done. And I was gonna say, oh, it's like that uh Jedi Academy level, but nope. Jet yeah, what? The Jedi Academy single player level. Where you're on the train and you gotta get to the front of it. You mm. like jump from car to car. I'm not quite sure I remember. Well, that's okay. Because Jedi Academy single player was garbage. Fuck you, it was garbage! It was not good. Okay, mister. Oh, I, you know, get in ridiculous lightsaber battles with people in multiplayer. I'm not even talking single... about that. I'm talking about compared to Outcast, which was spectacular. I mean, I guess, but the, it was still fun. I, I enjoyed running from mission to mission. I... Liked like very little of the single play. I like the end. Um, you can say that like the story was kind of, like you know kind of weak and that kind of stuff, but like the 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 variety of missions that they give you. They had a decent variety. It's just not a lot of them were good to me. Ah, uh, see, I I disagree. Like ju jumping around on the the rock so you don't get eaten by the sandworms, and then like going from car to car as it was whipping by you, and like. Being on top of the uh, on on the rooftops when you have to take in that crime lord when you get captured by the uh, I was gonna call him a bounty hunter but you kind of just go and br to bring him in and he just like fucks you up and puts you in the little cage and then you gotta you gotta just use guns and stuff like that like there were so many good missions and they each had like different things you needed to do. Uh, I wasn't a, a fan you of a lot of it. Agree to disagree. Yeah. Mm, should I get rid of three remote bombs or five ammo for the Magnum? Remote bombs. But they go boom. Do you value Magnum or boom? But yeah, the Jedi Academy multiplayer was... Phenomenal. And I miss it. I just wish more people cared about it. Uh, give me a boost. I'll take him down. See, that was a realistic jump. He didn't go 70 feet. <laughs> While doing a front flip. Exactly yeah. At first, you'll be afraid. But don't worry. You're just becoming the monster you always were. You and everyone else on the planet. So, like, she was an experiment or someone made her a monster. And she's just like, all right, I'll spread that gift to everyone. Ah! As if well, somehow that, that was justified. What woman? That traitor, Ada Wong. Who knows what she's got in store? Another team was sent after her. You, Simmons, you're all ours. Are you here to avenge the president? Is that it? You fool. Had he disclosed the truth behind Raccoon City, the U.S. would have lost all its authority, and the global political order would have collapsed. So to avoid one possible disaster, you create another? No matter how many people die? He had to be stopped! He was leading my country and this world into complete chaos. Ah. That woman... Uh, how dare she do this to me? Ah! Five minutes 
ago, well played. Now, how dare she? Disguise. I hate this Why? game so much. Why? Because I was dumb as hell. We're too close. Let's move. Oh. Where where are we moving to exactly, Let's Leon? Get some distance so we have the chance. <laughs> Damn you both! I'll kill you with my bare hands. But you're a dog. He's a dog now, yeah. Wait, what am I doing? What you doing? Damn. And also, Slow. what does running back this far do if we just... Oh, okay. Can we fuck him up, Melee? I don't know. Maybe. Dog, please. But yeah, I also thought I saw metal in that transformation. Like he like clanged together or something. Too fast. We need to attack from both sides. He can't even attack him. He's just a bomb. But what are we supposed to do? C virus uses elements of the G virus, which introduces extreme transformations. But now oh, I need to throw you up there. So, uh, was he down now? Yeah. I mean, I'm meleeing him. It doesn't seem to. Act Hit him from both sides, Leon! Oh, okay. Oh my god. Is this working? I'm going up top. Okay. Thank you, Atticus. I can't do that. Still a baby indeed. He's down here again. Now I remember this part. Charging. Oh no, okay. Oh no, where the Why? first they go? Ah, stop it. How did I get attacked? I lost health. Hey, come back. So if I get staggered there, I just eat the damage, it seems. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm really angry at him. So yeah, we can definitely melee. Yeah, he just like coalesced into a singularity there. Yeah, that's that kind of shit is what I'm talking about. G virus, while it is very much a matter of uh, extreme transformations, it's not transformers. I need a heal. That didn't. Ow. Okay, it did. Ow, ow. Ow, ow. I'm being staggered. Like, stun locked. Yep. Okay, I'm fine. Ow. Oh, but you're not. You know what? Uh oh. Yeah, we just have to eat that damage. Yeah. We do need to get on either side of them of him though and see if if we melee him like we can just cause him to keep turning keep turning yeah. keep turning you know while we wail on him each at the same time let me try it okay well that didn't go well ow that really didn't go well all right i'm behind him 
Okay. Let's do it. Okay. Oh. All right. Let me wail on this man some more. Wait, did I? Are you all right? Wait, really? Did we kill him? Leon! Leon, you all right? Yeah, I'm also confused as to where all the extra mass comes from oh, yeah, and then it disappears it. too. Yeah. Again, Twilight. Neither of those did that. What the hell is he doing? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm alright. Yeah. yeah, there's there's nothing canon uh, like No. Not even pseudoscience. Yeah. Comparing it to the G virus or the T Veronica virus does not work for me. Do I have to, am I required to shoot him? I don't know. Why is his voice? Oh shit. It's fine. I'm not gonna do anything. I'm just gonna let him kill you. Okay, you're fine. I just wanted to see if, you know. Look at this shit. Magic gotta... is literally canon, is it? I don't know enough about the Resident Evil series to know what, what? you might be referring to. What? I don't know. And when? Like, at what point? Was I think we magic? need to... <laughs> yeah, I don't think there are any rituals that had any magical effects that I can think of. Like, again, I don't ultimately care. Like, this doesn't ruin my enjoyment because for me, this is, this is what I was talking about earlier in the evening, right? Like, with the Marvel movies, it's like, this is just ham-fisted ridiculousness, and I'm, I'm here for it. It's a... Uh... God damn mess. I still think it's very dumb and silly, yeah. but I, I it, it's fine. But I think from we have a to purely shoot like, if they tried to explain it, and especially in the earlier games, I think it's safely off the rails here. I don't think anyone can step in and be like, no, no, see, because, like, no, no. he's just kind of singularitying into himself. Like cultists, like technically, but they're not. They didn't perform rituals. It wasn't that kind of thing. Yeah, we have to shoot him here, I'm pretty sure. Ants with bullshitium. <laughs> so, hello. Well, I think he, if he's shooting vile blood, maybe it wouldn't be so bad. I think he's shooting bones. I think if you look, they're not bullets. They're like little bone shards. But yeah, we, we have to shoot him here then? I mean, I don't see him coming in, so I guess so. Okay. I don't know. Kind of seems like he's coming in. Well, yeah, it's after I did the damage. Oh. They said, running away even more. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, this fucking game. If he could do that, why didn't he? Yeah, that. Simmons! Jank it! No, he said it! Leon Simmons! <laughs> Wait, how come that one hit him? But the other one, he just batted aside like it was nothing. He missed his cutie.
world will be a better place. Look so fucking cool. <laughs> Just hard cut to their funeral. You would be, you would be droplets on a ground. <laughs> like, not to mention the fact that how fast they were going. If they yep. jumped, it wouldn't be in the water. They just get like, they just get bisected by any of those cables on the bridge. Yep. I'll be right back. Oh, <laughs> uh, we just need a good stretch to take care of all those injuries. Oh, yeah. Stay in the line. Oh, this is. Just took a light rail, jumped from a light rail going like 300 kilometers an hour. Why are we evacuating? Like 200 miles an hour. It's into the water. Things could go to shit at any moment. Oh, my bones are a little stiff. Why, yeah. Did we finish it? I don't know. But we did what we could. Let's go. We did it. We did save China. <laughs> if people stay sane, why is this virus a bad thing? I don't know if I'd call any of the abominations we've been fighting sane. Oh crap, cutscene. Didn't know it would do that. Well. Well. Yeah. It's over. Yeah, it did autoplay that. Abducted? Why? Files. The one she gave us. Wait a minute. This is the key to stopping the sea virus. It's... Jake. Hunnigan, could you check and see if the BSAA has any units near the oil field? It's a big Chris fucking Redfield. missile. Leon, Leon, where are you? Chris, we're just outside of Tachi. Why? Get the hell out of there! Oh yeah, that missile we stopped like three times in a row. But like, plot though. Hey, hear me out. Instead of the C virus, the high C virus. <laughs> the sunny D virus.
was for 51 months. How are you doing? So dumb. <laughs> but, but that's fine. Transformer get crushed on tracks. Bomb we stop three times. Definitely still goes off. They somehow survived the fall. They somehow survived the bomb. Or the missile, I guess. Yeah. If you could join one cult, which would I choose? Um... Blue Oyster. That one, I think, does have a real answer, Bulwark. I think everyone can't just go pre-Volcano Wesker because he's like an experiment or something. He's like a successful... Yeah. They can't just make Weskers. I mean, they did technically just make Wesker, but not everybody. That's what I mean. Like, it's an experiment, right? Mm. He, he's he's like one of the like ah oh, he he withstood all the things he's like a he's like a Geralt or something. Have a good night, Sir Dan. Well. How many chapters in this campaign? Uh, I want to say six. Let me double check. I got a call on it here and, uh, oh, you left? Yeah. <laughs> oh, because it, okay. I was going to say, I was thinking of calling it here and then and finish this campaign next one. Let's see. Might be, f yeah, it's five. So will we just oh, do four? Here we have one more. Yeah, then we'll definitely finish it. Yeah. Then we'll have Jake and then Ada's. Although Ada's is shorter, yeah? I believe so. Okay. Dumb story aside, I do wish they had done more with straight zombies for this. Where just like when the missile hits, how it like all goes to shit and there's yeah. just regular zombies attacking people and stuff. Yeah. Instead of everything, everything we like ramped up to 12 over the top craziness. Yeah. Because you can do so much with that scenario that like you've like it's been done technically, but not in a, not in a modern or with modern hardware or anything like that. So we've never really experienced that sort of, that sort of scenario with the capabilities that we have today. Yeah. And I mean, even, even that, like there were army guys in that zombie horde that were like, what are you going to do? It's a missile. <laughs> yeah. Also, I would not say that magic is overtly canon as of RE8 because we don't know exactly how any of that stuff works yet. Like, I have no doubt in my mind that it'll be explained away through some virus as everything else has been. And it just allows people to re... Like, how we just had train transformer guy, Simmons. Like, that's guy or... Yeah. Dimension of mass. Yeah. Like it, it's magic in the sense of it's dumb, 
but it's not it's magic. It's like that old, like, when it's technology indistinguishable yeah. from magic yeah, yeah. sort of thing, right? Where it's like, yeah, it's it's a virus, quote unquote, but it's like, it's fucking magic. Yeah. <laughs> like, where do you, where does all the masks go? Yeah. But it, there, there's nothing that says that they're werewolves yet is a thing. Like, they are reminiscent of it. That's probably what inspired it thematically, but in terms of the explanation, it's probably going to be viruses. They're, they're going to be like, it's the W virus. Yeah. Ow! <laughs> Christ. Can a virus explain a nine foot tall vampire dummy mommy who's, who looks like she's in her late 20s when she's at least 70 years? Yeah, I mean, yeah. Yes. Yes. Literally every. Yeah, like. It's not like, I don't understand how you can ask that question, given everything we've seen up to this yeah, point. Like, like all those exploding flashbacks and that dude who turned into a literal like fish alligator monster, but still with the dude living inside the alligator's own mouth and all the flashbacks and everything. Like what that's fair game to be explained by a virus, but a nine foot tall dummy mommy. Nah, th the virus wouldn't do that. Come on. Like if we can have some. Don't get me wrong, it's dumb as hell. All of it. <laughs> yeah. But it could absolutely explain it. And considering RE7, Evelyn, all I'm not gonna, don't spoil that for Shay, should he ever play it. But, uh, you like, there's precedent for weirdness. I agree with Chili, though. I'd love for in Resident Evil 8 them to just go, yeah, you know what? Fuck it. Magic. Yeah. They just, like, open a crypt or something. They're like, yeah, no. Magic meets virus. It turns out that the Dami Mommy isn't evil. Like, she's not, she's not part of the whole virus thing. She's part of Team Magic. And then Team Magic fights Team Virus. Hmm. Like, if you want to just keep ramping things up and keep going over the top... Yeah, still doesn't achieving that through viruses wasn't thought, po okay, thought possible until the discovery of the progenitor virus. These people are secluded from typical civilization, so that's not exactly fair. Thought possible doesn't mean that it encompasses the entire scientific community or the world. It's just umbrella stuff. So of course it could redate that discovery. Lots of things do. Yeah, are there multiple factions? Like, I only yes. ever hear about Umbrella, but is there, like, you know, it's like Aperture Science, it's like, ah, oh, yeah. Team, you know, the, the Goggle Corporation was working on that one. Like, I don't know if there's anything as blatant. I think a lot of those splinter groups and things like that and different factions cropped up after Umbrella. Still, considering we're dealing with a society that is separate from the outside world there's it stands to reason that they could have got up to whatever they wanted to in that time yeah because it's also very known right yeah like at some point like it's not a secret like you they sell bow's all around the world right like it's it's not like it's all a secret they do now yeah like it's just fact that things happen and I guess even before that, even before it was fact that like just BOWs run around the world, the tech was there, the tech was there, but like the, 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 the science, the strains of viruses and everything were there. They were in development, yeah. Good luck, Noah. It was all those plants, right? Uh, for the T virus, yeah, the progenitor virus was. Oh, okay. I I didn't know if it was. It, it, I was trying to know what the origin was. Mm. Like, would it stand to reason that any group could just at some point be like, oh, flowers, and develop them? You know. I mean, possibly. We also don't know how whatever's going on in RE8 actually happened. We don't know what it is yet. Right, because those flowers are only the one strain of virus. Yeah, it's what started. It was the progenitor virus. It could have. Uh been anything are, that go ahead well are all the other ones considered mutations of that that's why it's the progenitor virus yeah pretty much like every everything else is just them being like oh and if i change these properties here oh ha huh, a transformer yeah all of that said it's still dumb as hell 
I don't think there's any argument. Yeah. I hope I hope there's no argument being made that it's not dumb as hell. I think we're all on team dumb as hell. But that that's there's already precedent for it, Twilight. Las Plagas didn't exist until RE4, so there's nothing that says I can't, can't introduce something else in RE8. So to say that that's the only thing that's exempt, I think, is denying possibility. Oh, in other words, like this Las Plagas thing didn't come around until, until RE4. RE4, yeah. So it could stand the reason that in RE2, we could be having the same conversation. Yeah. Or RE3 or whatever. And yeah. then 4 could come out and we could be like, look, Las Plagas. Yeah. So we could literally go into 8 and we could be like, look, Blinga Blue virus. Yeah. yeah, I think that's exactly what they're going to do. The whole magic thing, that stems from, like, I only saw what was on the Game Awards, was it? Or was that the first time it was revealed? The, uh, the actual gameplay I trailer? Think so. Or? Something like that. That, that's that's just that gameplay where he's like walking along and then big mama steps out from under and she's like massive but then it shows a little bit of gameplay with like uh like the female vampire ladies and then you shoot at them and they just kind of go Whoa! yeah and then they just like reform again yeah and so now everyone's like oh my god magic which i uh, considering we've had enemies that reform like transformer simmons and other enemies that reshape themselves like it it's not out yeah. of the question as someone who's not a big resident evil guy i gotta say like that i wouldn't make that leap mm. like i i can see why you would want to based on like if it relates to popular like mythology and things that typically would be supernatural you know what i mean yeah. like if you've made the conclusion of like oh these are vampires so obviously magic or like supernatural stuff right because that's that's typically their origins. But for me, I don't do it. Like in a game like this, I'm just like, I don't go, oh, vampires, magic. I go, oh, vampire-like creatures. Yeah. They're just going to say it's a virus exactly, mutation. Exactly, yeah. Also, something that occurs to me now, um, there's umbrella symbols in the various RE8 trailers, so it's not as if they aren't connected to it somehow. But again, Twilight, with that in mind, what's stopping them from saying that this secluded village in Europe just perfected this thing that was previously unknown to the outside world? Yeah, like it wasn't a problem of like Las Plages being there or not. It wasn't the, the fact that like, it was just that the game introduced it. Yeah. Like, you can literally just have a game do that. Like, they could, they could even just be like, ah, oh, some sort of dormant something something was always in most of the water in the world. But you see, in this specific part of Europe, the way that the, the, the springs from the mountain interacted with the virus. <laughs> Only in these unique situations could it have possibly created the V virus. Dun, dun, dun. And then, and then this exact thing. The and we're virus. talking about it in like Resident Evil 11. And we're talking about like, oh, but the V virus was always present in water. Cause like, but then it was just because of that region there and these things that happened in RE8, which then, yeah. you know, it's like. Like, we're taking a very safe position, and the game devs are just in a safe position because they can just do that. Yeah. And it's, and it's not like they, like, I don't, I don't want to shit all over them for this, but it's, it's not like they have <clears throat> integrity with their story. Like, like, in the sense that, like, they'll go there. It's you like know comics. What I mean? It's, yeah, it's like, it's like comics, and it's like, it's like the different, it's not like, they're like, oh, no, no, that can't happen in our world. Because, like, they'll absolutely go there. If they fucking want to, they'll be like, yeah, that's it. That's what happened. Yeah, that's that's how this works. That's what happens with 
TV shows that go on for so long, with comics that run for however many decades. But also in my short time with Resident Evil, like that's just what I've come to expect. Yeah. Like I've come to expect that they'll go there and be like, oh, you think we won't? No, he can absolutely kick a mountain. <laughs> I'm like, okay. I mean that, yeah, because it's a long-standing series. I think by RE8, or rather RE5, it had been going on for 12 years, I think. Right, but it didn't have to just because no. it was long. No, My, it never has the series to. series doesn't necessarily need to be like, you know, we've been here for 12 years. Of course it was going to come to Punching Mountains. Like, they, they could have kept it. They could have tried to cap the realism. They could have kept it to like, oh yeah, our zombies can have like, little mutations here and there, but like, we can't have crazy flying winged bat creatures with egg sacs underneath them. And like, that was a decision. Mm. Also, yeah, con all right. Conjecture in regards to plots and things and what they could possibly, that's always fun. What uh, what I would caution against is denying possibilities based on information that we don't have, because that itself to me is setting yourself up for failure. Like going, it could be this based on the past is one thing, but saying it can't be this because it, it's never been done before to me is silly. Considering everything we've gotten so far, which all of it is things that were not previously done before. That yeah, I think I've asked this before, but how many viruses are there now? Oh God. Like if someone who actually knows could like type it out for me, there's there's the C virus and the T virus. I pretty much just know that. We also know G, uh, there's T Veronica, there's Plagas, Plagas type two, uh, NT the, parasite. Wait, wait, hold, hold on, hold on, yeah. hold on, hold on. I need to actually yeah. type this out. Okay. There's the C virus. The T virus. T e virus. Progenitor virus. Progenitor virus. Uh, T Veronica virus. Wait, progenitor type two, right? Uh, uh Plagas type two. Oh, I'm sorry. Plagas type two. I definitely didn't spell that right. There's the T Veronica, you said? Yes. Named after one specific person only. Yes. There okay. we go. Is that well, all I've got them? you. Progenitor T, T Veronica, T Abyss, T plus G, G, T Phobos, Las Plagas, Las Plagas 2, Las Plagas 3, C Virus, A Virus, E Virus, Mold. So there's 13 viruses so far, and they follow no sort of naming convention whatsoever. Yeah. They all stand for something, but, uh... And, 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 and again, like, yeah, Smooth Vodka has a good point. Why are these people so obsessed with making all these variants knowing it's going to cause chaos to them? Because at this point, you can't really argue that they don't know that. Like, after all of the games and everything always going wrong and, like, villains stabbing each other in the back and villains accidentally taking it and villains getting shot and going, guess I have no other choice! Blah! And stabbing themselves with the viruses. Like, pretty much everyone who's in and around anything with any of the viruses becomes a blugablock block monster at some point. So you can't even really be like, oh, because, like, profit, they want to sell them, Shay, because it's like, but... But the failure rate has to be like, like 99%. Like they always escape or they cause crazy havoc or like turn on their masters or they backstab each other. Like that's, I, so there's this trend of Resident Evil where people who don't know better wind up with the means to basically the means of production because they want something like profit or power, or political gain, and they wind up fucking everybody up in the process. Like Simmons, what we just saw, 
he did all this shit to protect his country. He wasn't exactly in Raccoon City. He had no real ties to Umbrella before this, I don't think. It's just like people know that these things happen, but they don't really have the context or the wisdom to stop fucking up. So they just continue to fuck up. It's not but as if the people- But how not? Like, wouldn't this be everywhere? Wouldn't like, wouldn't like <laughs> four frost giants run amok in Europe, more at 11? Wouldn't they be like, oh fuck, frost giants? And then like giant alligator monster swims around Africa, causes wanton destruction. Like, like missile filled with virus hits China deaths of millions and then like what you're saying like some ignorant buffoon is like but i'll be fine though nyuck, I, nyuck, nyuck, nyuck. like yeah i i, I guess based I, on what i've seen in the real world yeah but like but like come on <laughs> yeah it's it's real dumb you would expect people to and like both in the real world and in writing this fictional one you would expect people to be smarter but Alas. Like even the even the pandemic we're going through now, if you say like, oh, I would expect people to be smarter, you're right. But I feel like there's enough like subtlety there. Like people don't see like clouds of sentient disease going into their mouths and like, you know what I mean? Mm. Like people, don't, like if, if people just saw like big bio monsters just taking like a laser gun and going and like wiping out half of China, you would halt. You would just hope that someone wasn't like, nah, the guys who control that are just idiots. I'll do better. And then it happens again and again and again yep. and again for like eight games. And at some point you would think Umbrella or somebody like some would be like, no, this is stupid, guys. Come on. Yeah, that doesn't, uh, that doesn't really account for the people who do it because like purely there are people who who do it for a political gain or power or whatever but then you have the people who literally do it for the sake of like making a profit through war like they use it yeah. to and I know I'm being naive I know I am but it is just me trying to be like oh, but come on people people yeah, you think. <laughs> don't, don't let me down like even the people you're like oh no they're just evil and it's like, okay, but even in some stories, you have evil people, like, knowing when things go too far, you know what I mean? Being like, it's kind of fuck. like, I can't rule the world evilly if literally everyone is dead. Yeah, but they always think it won't happen to them. Yeah, like, well, but okay, but it's not about happening to them. It's about happening to literally everyone else. Like, even if they're like, I'll never get turned by the A, B, C, D, E, F, G virus. It's like, all right, but... If everyone else is, or if whole nations splork each other such that there's like seven people left as humans, like, ha ha ha, I am king of fuck mountain of barren nothing. Well, that's like they always construct a, a plot in such a way that only a small contain, contained air quotes uh, incident will occur. So much of China. Well, that wasn't, I don't think that was what ada who okay, came up yeah, with that sorry i was gonna say ada was the one exception because again i don't have her full contacts yet but i'm assuming it's just her being like the world screwed me and now i'm gonna screw the world it's like all right you can't really get around people like that i guess yeah the the only time it, it became like a a global threat in the sense of everybody being infected in mass was ada and wesker so far Everything else was contained to countries or cities or something to that scale. Contained to countries. Like, yeah. that's like that's fine. It's all right. It's just this entire country. Yeah. And they're not going to pick a small one. No. Like, well, it's got to be one that we can know. It's not going to be one that people are like, that's a country. Like, it's going to be like, you know, the U.S. or Russia. A it's always been uh it's always really been cities up to this point with the exception of the global stuff like even in like what we just witnessed with china it was cities in china with uh god was where were they in 
the beginning of this campaign. And they were in, in some city at the university. Uh, then there was Raccoon City in RE4. It's some village in Spain. In RE8, it's some village there. In RE7, yeah. you're in some in a house in Louisiana. It's always small scale. At least starting off until someone fucks up. Right. And, and Bulwark, yeah. Like, I, I'm not ignorant of the real world con. Like, you're right. Yes, we are living through that mindset right now. You're correct. But my point was, I guess, with the real world, like, like I said, people, like, people just go into stores and they have their mask half down, right? Mm. And it's like, because they don't, they don't really, everyone's just kind of living in their own. They don't see the effects and they don't, or they just, they just believe that it's not right. And it's not something, like I said, there's, there's not like evil particles that you can see going into their, like, if COVID was visually real, and you had it going like into your nose and you're like, oh fuck, I'm going to die now. Like guaranteed people would put a shield up to their nose to stop that. You know what I mean? Like knowing that it was them, knowing that they themselves in all their selfishness were about to be fucked up the nose hole, they would probably do that. Okay. So this is where I'm, I'm making the distinction of like in Resident Evil, like it's very clearly a bioengineered giant that is stepping on your face hole. <laughs> I, I think an important distinction to make with that is that the people, like, the, the collective isn't really the one who has to make that decision at this point. Everything that's happened was the result of a few people with the means to do so making yeah. terrible decisions. It's not as if people are running around with their masks half down. No, exactly. Like, the, the public was just trying to get out of that city or whatever, yeah. right? So, like, yeah, that part I get. I'm just saying, like, that, that, that even, like, call a council of evil at some point and be like, guys, guys, we're up to, like, 14 variants. Calm the fuck down. We're all just trying to sell some BOWs here and make some money, okay? Calm down. We need to not have 18 variants of awful that is currently ravaging like seven different parts of the world. And I don't know what the hell we're going to do about this Adia woman, because she's running around trying to just like, if she could plant a bomb in the center of the world, it seems like she'd do it. So let's all just step back, let the world fix itself, let everyone fuck a little bit, build back up the population. And then we can go all crazy pants with some with some science, okay? Cool? Cool? All right. God, I wish <laughs> part of um part of why I enjoy the setting, like what they've done with it, despite its ridiculousness, there it has the foundation for an, a pretty interesting, I think, um like weird polit or political military esque commentary and the way you have Thing, when you POWs, the creation of these weapons versus the people who want to sell them, because the people who make them aren't always very seldom the people who try to sell them or use them. So there's that disparity there on top of the people being pretty much separate. Like it with the, uh, like at this point, Umbrella is mostly defunct and the people that remain are in different like splinter groups and different organizations all trying to do different things. So it's not as if there is some evil round table that can just get like convene and say, maybe we should stop. It's just a bunch of ragtag splinters doing whatever the hell they want. Pretty much. Yeah. Now, like, uh, do you, do you intend to watch, um, any of the CG films? I think I did. Like, I think I watched one or two. Mm. I, I, I think I think at some point somewhere back when the world was less crazy, I was in a hotel somewhere. Like I had uh. flown somewhere or I, I was in a hotel. And it's like one of those like, oh, this hotel gets gives me like four channels and then I got to pay for the rest, right? Mm. So like, yeah, I think it was just on. It was just, it was some woman running around in a facility being a badass. Probably Claire. Like an like an over the top badass for no reason, and it was like, it was like an experiment, but it was like, uh, it it was like a city. It was like a simulated city or something. It was in like a lab, but it was actually some streets or some shit. I don't know. Oh, the, you're 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 talking about the live action films. Oh, okay. 
then no. Hmm. I haven't seen the other ones. Yeah, the uh, general, very vague premise of one of the CG films is a a group of freedom fighters slash terrorists basically use BOWs to get like to to seize the country, or they they try to like that's their whole thing. So it, like it's not even it's not even governments who are doing this. It's people who met whoever managed to get their hands on them. Hmm. So it's just basically privatized dumbassery. Yes. Okay, I'm on board fully now. <laughs> Like, if it wasn't all so dumb, I think you could tell some pretty interesting stories in this setting. That's why I like it so much. But alas. Mm. Yeah. There's also chaotic, dumb, or dumb evil, yeah. What a great note. What a what a thing to end on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I I know Twilight. Yeah, we, we should be able to, uh, I guess, finish this next week. This campaign. And on to Jake. Yeah. Oh, I, although I assume he's the secondary character. Uh, no, he's the, he the he's the primary. Oh, yeah? Yep. Okie doke. I am chilly. I just need to figure out what I'm, what exactly I'm going to do for that. Hmm. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll get through this. Probably gonna launch us into another large discussion based on the bullshit that happens to Jake. Well. God. I wish this game was structured better. That would make no, it. You didn't, you... Go ahead. I was just gonna say you didn't ruin the chat bulwark. That's that's something people have been seeing for a long time. Yeah, the uh, the giraffe is legendary at this point. It's very unfortunate. That's not even how giraffes work, but that doesn't stop people from seeing it. <laughs> now that Leon's favorite movie is Drive, I thought it was The Professional. Which is a good movie. Nick is close to Jake and Shay is close to Sherry, but we'll be playing the opposite characters. And I have not played, uh, I've not played Sherry. I haven't played Helena either. But, Wait, uh, that means I'll have to host it. No, you won't. I can just set it. Oh, can you? Yeah. Oh, I thought. Oh, okay. Yeah, you can pick your character. Gotcha. It's a giraffe furry with clown shoes. Oh, I see. That's. It does have clown shoes. Yeah. I can say that. Yeah, it, it does. definitely has clown shoes. 
Not a fan. <laughs> no, it's a giraffe with clown shoes. Keep up. Oh no. <laughs> Chili. Imagine being the artist who made the six and thinking, ah, oh, this is neat. And like is so innocent about the artwork that they've created. And then the internet collectively goes, ha ha, the giraffe getting a blowjob. <laughs> evil. Six. That's like playground antics. I would not, uh, I think I would retire. <laughs> yeah speaking of retire i gotta call it here yeah fair enough i'm going to do the same let's see how do i boom uh, boom. Did it. Boom. Thank you all for hanging out. Yeah, night, everybody. Uh, actually, let me see if I can find someone to throw you all at, if you don't mind. Let's see who's doing what. See, Carsey is doing party one, Chris, all kill for PS1. How do I spell that? Uh, carcinog or yeah, carcinogen and then SDA at the end of it. Okay. Raid message, you can't kill me. All right. Take it easy, everybody. Thanks for hanging out for a dumb TED Talk. Yeah. <laughs> Night. See y'all next time.